Hello, everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role One Shot, where we have taken over the slot of No Survivors this Monday, thanks to the uh, illustrious generosity of the fantastic Ivan von Norman. Any day you may take the slot whenever you wish, especially when I get to be a player. I like when Ivan, Ivan tells me it's okay for me to take his take slot. Take slot. Yeah. Take oh. my slot. way he says it. Mercer, please take my about. slot. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so this evening, we have uh, the fantastic pleasure of running a one-shot game of Pathfinder, which those of you who haven't played, uh, Pathfinder is a fantastic fantasy RPG. It's actually what we played for the first two years of Critical Role, and uh, tonight we get to show a fun, a fun story that we've put together for this uh, this series of players here, as well as show off the really cool software, Sirenscape, which I mentioned a few times in the show. I use it to organize a lot of the music and sound cues for Critical Role. We get to show you uh, some of the more that it's capable uh, of tonight outside of my custom settings. This is what the actual setup itself can do, which is phenomenal. So, super excited about that. Um, before we get started, let me go ahead and introduce our fantastic players for this evening. Uh, we have, uh, on the table to my left, we have Ivan, who you've uh, already seen thus far. Ivan Von Orman, hello. Hello. Thank you for joining us. I, I'm happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Yay. Yay. Uh, we have Marisha Ray from Critical Role. Hi, guys. Uh, then to the other table, we have <laughs> Talos and Jaffe from Critical Role. Hi. And our very two special guests joining us this evening, Ashley Birch. Hello! Yeah! And Philomar. Why, hi there! Yeah. Philomar! <laughs> I'm going to use this voice all night. All night. Perfect. 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 That is the sexiest. For no good reason. Yes. It's the sexiest. With a large set of testing. <laughs> Which, to let you guys know, uh, tonight's game is going to be interesting because, unlike a lot of other Jeez. fantasy RPGs tonight, the whole party is goblins. Uh, everyone are playing goblins. We'll go ahead and do some quick introductions as to who you're playing, uh, starting uh, clockwise back from where I'll be introduced. So, Phil, who are you playing as? I am playing as Brown Tooth, the rogue. Goblin rogue, very nice. Goblin rogue. Sort of redundant. <laughs> <laughs> Depends. Goblin. But it's a very large word that I learned. That is a good one. Hold on to that one. And someone clearly b casted bull strength on those testicles. Yeah. <laughs> That's another word for yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley, who are you playing? I'm Piglet, the barbarian. <laughs> Delightful. Callison? I'm Mezix, the monk. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. Marisha? I'm Snizzler, the mad bombing alchemist. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm already excited. And Ivan. Grisnat Stompstork, reporting for duty. Goblin Fart Mage. <laughs> Available to all of you. I am the brains of the bunch, as you can see. <laughs> Perfect! <laughs> this will be a fun adventure for the evening. Um, you actually get to use the phrase, I've smelt it, now it's time that I dealt it. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, stolen, it now will be it. used Public in domain, public domain. So, I'm sorry if I already <laughs> stepped on that one. <laughs> So we go through a couple quick announcements here and then we'll overview the game stuff. Uh, so for those watching, I want to remind you that this Thursday is Critical Role's 50th episode. We're having kind of a special episode um, to commemorate this. A couple surprises that we have in store for you guys. Uh, so definitely be there Thursday at 7 p.m. Pacific to check out our 50th episode. Um, Marisha, you have a new episode of Signal Boost tomorrow. Yes, Hector's goes down as episode two of Hector. Which is episode six of Signal Moose. <laughs> and having already seen Watch it. it. Having already <laughs> seen it, this episode has my favorite intro so far. I laugh like for five solid it's minutes very straight. Funny. So you'll enjoy it. You two Check it out. Are it's great. very funny. So Hector's funny. Hector's the best. Indeed. It's very funny. So yeah. par part of this whole event tonight uh, with the folks of Pathfinder, uh, Paizo, <laughs> and uh, Sirenscape is in celebration of the upcoming International Tabletop Day, Whee! which is happening on April 30th. We'll be doing a whole series of great events here in the studio throughout the day, so uh, mark it on your calendars. Get your friends together. Four hours of live streaming. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Yes. So, it's a charity, right? For good cause? All, all kinds Kaboom. of craziness. Kaboom.org, yep. yeah. which um, is bringing play back into the lives of children currently living in property. Or in property. <laughs> in property. <laughs> children who have been bricked into which, walls. It's. Horrible. Just Horrible. Their, just their mouths. They're, they're, stuck, they're stuck on estates. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but ponies. <laughs> they're just they need living to play. amongst property. <laughs> just land is surrounding them. No, guys, they're currently uh, kids living in poverty and they're trying to bring play back into their lives, such as things like board games. Right on. And we're actually going to be giving away a lot of board games to kaboom.org, part of your involvement during International Tabletop Day. So don't yeah. miss it. Boom. 
Heck yeah, man. And Heck I yeah. am. Heck yeah. If you'd like to plug what usually occupies oh. this spot on Mondays. Well, if you're a Critical Role fan, or if you're any kind of fan, and normally you're here uh, Monday nights, then thank you for coming on Monday night again. If you're not, and this is a weird time slot for you, we still play role-playing games on Monday nights. They are just mini campaigns instead of the epic long uh, brainchild of Matt Mercer's amazing imagination. Uh, instead, we do little one-offs, like we just got done playing Army of Darkness, which was then created by uh, chat. It was coined the Arby's of Darkness, because <laughs> they uh, their last stand was in the middle of an Arby's restaurant, which one of the characters <laughs> managed. And That's officially, amazing. it was pretty cool. That's what crazy. meat is this? <laughs> what <laughs> meat is this? <laughs> uh, the, the, they did the, the Deadites actually came out through the portal at the very end of it, and they were all the bus boys. And the, I swear to your soul, I swear to your soul. It was, it was Every cool. Arby's I've ever been to. Really, really is the same. And uh, the next campaign that we're going to be doing, officially, unofficially, is going to be Pugmire, which is a new game. Um, it's basically fifth edition in a world of fantasy dogs. It's post-apocalyptic future. What? I was going to make a joke about that, and then it was a, the real it thing. It exists. So. It's in the future in which all man has been wiped out, and now dogs reign supreme, and they have formed a church called the Church of Man, in which they have a code of laws, the first law being, be a good dog. <laughs> the second law being, fetch what has been left behind. And the third being, um, I believe it's, bite only those who attack you. So I'm it's great. Imagining Mad Max's dogs in my mind now. But it's but it's fantasy. It's, it's all Rick and Morty. And they all have So you could be like a so you could be like a uh, you could be like a, a pincer cleric, or you could be like a Dotson rogue, or something like that. <laughs> That's fantastic. It's fun. Yeah. So Barbarian. seven to ten p.m. usually on Mondays. Come hang out. Do it. I didn't Check it out, guys. Woo! Woo! That in my life. Um, you, you can come guess it. on it. It's pretty fantastic. Yeah. So another cool thing about expansion. having uh, having Paizo and uh, folks from Pathfinder here is we have a bunch of giveaways to give out throughout the evening to all you guys in chat. Look at um, this bag of stuff. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> These guys. It's exciting. I think that's yeah. edamame. They've got, uh, <laughs> first off, you guys can go to paizo.com slash goblins and store.sirenscape.com slash geek to get 25% off a of number of their goblin goods and stuff as part of tonight's promotional thing. Go check it out, a lot of cool things there to grab. Um, but throughout the evening, we'll be giving away smaller giveaways that include Pathfinder Core rulebook PDFs in chat, uh, the Burnt Offerings Adventure PDF, uh, the sound set from Sirenscape that accompanies uh, the Burnt Offerings uh, Adventure, and one grand prize winner tonight will get a whole bunch of stuff that includes the core book, the monster codex, the inner seas races, the burnt offerings, the weeby goblin set, uh, the goblin promo figure, the town square flip mat, goblin bank, goblin plush, a whole bunch of crazy stuff. So big old grand prize for one of you guys out there, so Yay. make sure you're engaging. Anyway, now that that's over with. <laughs> no. For tonight's game, um, you guys will be playing goblins, of course. I'll go over the story here in a moment, but things to consider. Uh, part of tonight's fun is at certain points during the story, if you ha if you roll really crappily on a roll, or if you want to get that extra action in, you're just doing good and you want to get that extra attack or extra ability, um, each of you have constructed and have at your disposal a goblin song that is custom to your character. Um, you may choose to sing this song out loud on the stream and in doing so <laughs> will gain use of that re-roll or that extra action. Use it sparingly, it's only once in a while, possibly even once tonight type circumstance. Got but it. I'm excited, pardon, excited to hear all of your individual <laughs> songs as we progress. So excited to give him indigestion. Yeah, that, it's, <laughs> it's how it's the reaction. I get nervous, guys. Um, great, so that being the case, let's go ahead and get this show on the road. Oh my god, I'm so excited. There we go, <laughs> Goblin Bass. Also, I'm using Liam's dice box because he's not here. <laughs> and he can't stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Cut, Liam, so. I'm, touching <laughs> I'm touching your stuff, I'm touching your stuff, I'm touching your stuff. I rub my butt on it. <laughs> I so. knew you touched my drum set. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Here in the Sandpoint hinterlands, nestled in the western side of the Devil's Platter mountain range, there lies the Bird Cruncher tribe of rather rambunctious goblins, known for their deft trapping skills, having earned their name and the majority of their food supply by snaring wild birds and eating them raw. You five have grown up together here among the caves and cliffs over the past six years, outliving many of your other brethren, making you tough. Uh, though most of you were the runts, discarded as weak and useless, you were all taken in and raised within your cages, which is how most goblins are raised, uh, by the sagely Guff Eye, Guff Eye, an ancient goblin oracle of nearly 30 years of age, 
who enjoyed the idea of having her own troop of personal guardians. She, sh she shouts that she is touched by the sight of Zog Mogat, Lady Last Breath, and the goblin hero god of flotsam and scavenging. Though many of her visions have led to grave misfortune, and her favor within the tribe has waned. But you guys believe her. Mostly. <laughs> Zog Mogat looks favorably upon upon our, our lovely not. Gaffey, so. <laughs> this cold, overcast autumn morning rolls in, and the five of you are returning from a morning snare run when you hear the sound of crackling shouts from old Guffey's crag porch. Come, come, the dream, the sight, come. And she darts back into her little cave hole. Oh, Guffey has another dream. You know what that means. Someone's going to lose an end. <laughs> All right, let's see Usually this means she's been drinking. I just want to point that out. Well, let's go see what the old windbag's up to, because you know it's going to involve us probably dying. Probably. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Entering her home, the familiar smell of pungent spices and rotting wood hits your nose, and this hoarder hole of a home is crammed to the brim with driftwood, molded leather, metal scraps, torn hides, broken pottery, all sorts of other beautiful pieces of junk. It's amazing. Yeah. Nostalgia comes over you as you glance at the empty iron cages you once grew up in, <laughs> now partially buried and filled with wet wool. <laughs> as you guys enter, uh, old Guffey steps onto a small box and turns, her snow-blind eyes clouded and bulging above her toothy grin. My rents, the lady gifts Guffey. The weight is broken. I have a vision once more. A thing, a great thing was shown to Guffey in both his eyes. A stone of crack and thum. A rock that barks like the storm. This rock, this stone, Guffey must have. This Guffey must get. You, you must get this stone. Bring it to me for the lady's blessing. Guffey, if I give it to you first, will you like me the best? I already like you the best. Yes! Oh, but I will like you twice best. Oh my god. Guffey, as your esteemed and most intellectual advisor, I have to ask, where did the lady bestow this vision upon you that we might find the barking rock? Well, I awoke this morning envisioning just how much more I liked Piglet than the rest of you. <laughs> but I just got done scrubbing all of your sores last night. Silence! Sorry, no, Sorry. Upon brewing my morning thatch tea, the vision struck me face. I dropped it, it shattered in a beautiful clattering of broken pottery. And I saw before me a reminder that today is a special day. Oh, the sun, the sun lies highest in the sky. Today is the day of the human festival in Sandpoint. Filthy, stupid human festival. The lady showed me a man, a man in blue. Blue everywhere, in robes, a church man. His name, his name was Zan. Hold on. Zan. 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 Guffey saw the people around the church man at this festival. The church man has the storm rock on him. Oh. So, go to this sand point. Go to this human festival. Find this blue-skinned, blue-robed church man and take the stone for Guffey, yes. Oh. Uh, 
that sounds pretty easy and like easy. nothing bad will happen. Exactly, we've got this. The lady also showed me other goblins know. What? The stupid, stupid seven tooth tribe also on stone moving to city now. Why would the letters show them the blue stone? I thought no. too many. That's no. Seven tooth no. is too much. Two tooth is best tooth. I agree. Two I tooth agree. is best tooth. You go sneak in, find church man, take storm rock before seven tooth dum dums. Bring back to Gaffai. Get blessing and good meal. Promise. Yeah. Oh, well, there's food, food, food now. Yeah. And drink. Can we, can drink we... coffee. And drink. Yeah. Only with a good meal and a drink. Drink. You got it? And a good meal. This I can provide. And dessert? Yeah. Piglet, you're now a second most favorite. No! Oh. I didn't need it! Ah. I don't need it! I don't need it! Greed diminishes you. <laughs> Bring me stone, become first favorite! Okay, okay. Okay, now go! Okay. All right, all right. Time all right. is wasting! The morning is almost over. Right. All right, oh, blue stone, blue right. stone, we will get it all. Blue stone, blue stone, uh, then we'll eat them all, stupid oh, seven tooth is going to burn and burn and die. Burn them all, burn, burn, burn and burn and die, yeah. <laughs> As you guys exit the cavern, you go into your various uh, hidey holes, Gather all your materials, your weaponry, right. whatever things you think you may require on this journey. You know that the direction is northwest, past the Raven Roost Mountain Pass, towards this town of Sandpoint, and that is where your path lies. Okay. The clouds have begun to gather overhead uh, oh. at this point in time. Best weather for scavenging. <laughs> <laughs> nice and clammy. They won't even see us coming because gentle we're rain just slowly begins to hit down. Sky above. Uh, how long is it going to take for us to get to the to to Sandpoint? Uh, days travel depends on who's the best leader to find their way there. Because Griznak is best leader. I am best leader. Ah, Griznak is smartest. And which way do your feet point? My Whoever love. said you were the smartest? Because I am the wizard, and the wizard is always the smartest. This is simple goblin logic. That is pretty good that's logic. That's pretty good. Yeah, I, I agree with I really that. Yeah. But, but, all right. But I, but I have a big hammer. But you are, look. She does have a big hammer. Goffrey already tells you that you are the most elite of Goffrey. So we don't want to what? soil poor Piglet into having you out at front. Best to let uh, uh, Snizzler and uh, Grisnak lead the way. You're the most complete. You, yeah. it. you don't want to tarnish true. your beautiful, shining reputation. You're right. You know. Be so I'll try to face later. Okay. 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 Tarnish the handle of the yeah. It's that's true. It, she it wouldn't care sense. if you guys died, but if I died, she probably exactly. Would die. exactly. Exactly. So Whoever's in probably... front is most likely to be shot in right. face with something. So naturally, I'm... we are better to lead. Am I right, Grizz? Yeah, you've got it, Snizzler. Grizz and Sniz, all the way. Grizz and Sniz. Grizz and Sniz. Uh. So I'm, I'm, I'm assuming I'm going to make some navigation. Uh, I would like for you to make a survival check as the leader of this Ah, <laughs> yes, leader. I told you. Grizz, Grizz or Sniz. I'm very, <laughs> I'm very. Whoever one is leading. I'm very. Well, you're, he's leading. The leader fails <laughs> leader first. I am clearly the most That's intelligent right. goblin oh, in this troop. If you're so if he smart. Fails, a then we get lunch. Do I smell mutiny already? <laughs> I think I smell lunch. Failure <laughs> yeah, makes the um, meat taste better. But I think, but I, uh, I don't know if I want to burn my song already. I can, I can, I can. I don't know if look, I can. Grizz, look. I'm really good at building things, so naturally, I know how to survive better. You did make uh, that best lean to. I did. Best lean to. I did, and the Boy Scouts, I remember that back in the day, that was good. All right. We went to Juvie together. We did. <laughs> good time. Um, can I, can I try? Well, we'll say you let, <laughs> you let him lead for a while. All right. As you start heading uh, northwest, as you just begin to pass the south part of the Raven Roost Mountain Pass, uh, uh, you're led into a relatively thick patch of very, very, Painful underbrush. Thicket chunk. I'm underbrush to is the best. Regret rescinding my offer to be the leader. 
Yeah, everyone, everyone knows, goblins know that the most painful path is usually the right path. And the most painful path does manage to deal two points of damage to all of you as you stare oh, across your first thing dragged not, through that's the That's only your not own cool. self-loathing, Grizz! Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Oh, that hurts. Until eventually, oh, uh, Snizzler ah. decides to to rise up in frustration and take over the leader position. Jeez, all right, come on, let me Just let me see. Let's, let's... Here, here, take, take Dick Bone. That is the leader staff. All right, thank you. We got it. We got it <sighs> from an old badger. I swear. Um, <laughs> but make your survival I check. I swear this is best. <laughs> oh no, that's not a good reaction. So? <laughs> guys, and I would have never seen or heard from <laughs> yeah. no, it. Game over, game, guys. Well done. Uh, Gob- <laughs> we're, we're running the best goblin scenario ever right now. Three. Well, we're not gonna make it out of the brush. Like brownies and willow, man. We're just done uh, for. Okay. Um, Why did we okay. Let them so, do that? Here, how about uh, wading uh, deeper and deeper into the bramble thicket, <laughs> now under the guidance Ow! of the Snizzler? Look, it's just about. Finding the flow. Ow. All right, I just hate you. Ah. it always up my buttocks. Ah. You're all taking additional one point of, of piercing Ow. damage. Ow. As you're scratching your way it through. It hurt, guys. Guys, um, I don't know, but I think I have one more rash than I did have didn't have previously oh, somewhere. Geez, there's poison Suddenly. oak everywhere. Snizzler, ah. Snizzler, get it. Get yeah. it. Strike yeah. the rain intensity. Yeah. 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 Are starting to echo through the mountain ranges in the distance. The storm, <laughs> the storm appears to be getting relatively. Uh, stronger. However, during this travel, the rain that is washing down the side of the mountain does lead you to a position of the thicket that isn't quite so heavy, and eventually you guys make your way outside of the immediate <laughs> physical danger of the terrain. Uh, Congratulations. There's gotta be some uh, cover around here. I think so. we're further than we started. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, see, at least we're not at the cave anymore. Piglet doesn't like oh. lightning. Can we go somewhere where there's no lightning? Well, okay. Are we are we close to uh, to I don't know a tree? Because trees are really good to have cover <laughs> under lightning. I'm told. You know, I wasn't sure whether or not you were the smartest, but that's the best logic I've heard all day. <laughs> I agree. I agree. You kill it every time, Grizz. That's why I'm the wizard. Time. That's why they call me the greatest. Yeah, you, are, you always did read. You call the you the greatest. No one else calls you that. Well, Grizznak is the greatest. At That's which point, a large bolt of lightning hits a tree, maybe about twenty feet off from you. <laughs> Sparks flying, the tree bursts into flames and tumbles onto the ground. <laughs> oh, I need. Yes! <laughs> did you see that, dude? Look! Look! Zar- Zarganel smiles upon us. See, oh. he's lit our way. I wish he'd smile a little farther. <laughs> that was rad, bro. Ooh. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know about these guys. No, no. All right. Uh, so with, with no co- with no cover and nothing around it, um, I have a feeling maybe we should just make a mad dash for either caves or potentially <laughs> sandpoint. We're not anywhere caves. close to sandpoint. That's uh, a idea. Idea. We've done a sandpoint. few loops in the area. Um, We've been looping. Would anybody else want to try and lead this expedition? <laughs> I know it. I think I. Well, do you want to go which way? No, I know which way. I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna walk in the direction. All right, Mezek. Follow me, Mezek. Yeah, uh, I love you. I'd rather not. What am I rolling? I just rolled what I add to it. Survival. Survival? Where is survival? Um, Maznek. Now 19. don't. Don't screw this up. All right. Finally. <laughs> don't screw this up. I win this. Uh, Mezek, who's. For as far as goblin frantiness is concerned, manages to medicate himself through various alcohols to a state of concentration. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> Pushes forward deeper into the forest against your better judgment, but in doing so, stays out from the rainfall, manages to avoid a lot of what appears to be the lightning storm, which is now blowing over the southern portion of the mountain range, and leads you guys over the next couple hours through a bit of a muddy, sloshy forest terrain towards the outskirts of the actual town. So. Is it still night, or is it still. Oh, it's it's, it's about midday now. It's pushing. You guys. You're pushing into like the early afternoon at this point. Now you've lost a few hours on your journey. There. I can only take about two hours of responsibility today, and I'm done. <laughs> well, someone I will... else's problem. <laughs> I will lead. <laughs> now that I can see where I'm going. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, let's do the circle thing again. That was fun. That was fun. It's <laughs> kind of like a game. It's not fun because I've experienced what I thought was fun before, and I was nothing most, like most that. Most of my fun does so not weird. hurt quite so much. Well, well, as they say, no pain, no gain. So. I don't like the ones who say that. <laughs> I don't know what we mean. All right, guys. As they, pay, as they say, no pain, no shame. 
Except for full of shame. So, That's fair. I think they just like to rhyme. <laughs> Following uh, Mezek's path, you eventually make your way uh, through the forest, alongside the southern, the southern side of the Lost Coast Road, coming upon the edge of the trees to the Tarandarok River. Mm. Uh, it surrounds the town of Sandpoint itself. Right. It kind of encompasses it because it's, it's a port town that's set on the ocean, and this river kind of surrounds the outskirts of it. So you mm. find the edge, you hit the muddy banks of this river, and looking across, you can see now the actual city proper. Mm. Um, Roundtooth is very into city planning, so this is very interesting. <laughs> Uh, I'm into city burning. That's my favorite. Good Especially verb. if they're human cities. Very yes. nice. Burning, burning. So um, I think I think because my survival ability is so amazing, oh I'd like to propose that I try to fashion some sort of flotsam with Zargonel's guidance. I would like to try to take some flotsam and make some type of floaty, pushy thing. That we might wade <laughs> the wibble. We're going the into river. the wibble. Wade the wibble. Wade the wibble. <laughs> uh, to get it to get across to the the city, not even bothering to look for a bridge. Sure. No, we don't use no dirty human-made contraptions. Wait, so, wait, wait. So we're, yeah. go, we're going with this again. <laughs> Why don't we just swim? Uh, no, 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 no. Look, the sniz. Sniz can do a lot of things. The sniz does not swim. <laughs> Not, not very I'm not sure the Sniz can do a lot of things. Oh. 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 Zargonel right. smiles on us again. Uh. As you guys glance from the flash Smite's of lightning. Smite's another tree, Zargonel. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Yes, you see the bolt of lightning strike what looks to be a distant watchtower on the far side of, of the city that has a rod specifically to pull these types of Stupid things out of the way. Um, <laughs> you're glancing over, uh, have you guys roll perception checks if you could? Everyone okay. go ahead and roll perception. Okay. But, uh, D20. Also very good. <laughs> and then you add your perception. Oh, okay. I thought that was a one again. Solid 17. Perception? Oh, here it is. Oh. Okay. 17. 10. Natural one. <laughs> Risha? Uh, 10. 10. 17. All right, so we got two 17s here uh, from you guys. All right, so as you guys are glancing about, you can see the city before you, and it generally loses most interest to all of you, especially. Mezek, who, while your direction sense has been great today, once you get to the actual location oh, of your I'm intent, dying. you just I'm lost dying. all interest and you're kind of playing in the mud. <laughs> the thick clay on the side of the river kind I'm of smeared on your face. I'm hoping that it's half approved. I want to kick <sighs> any sculptures that he makes out of mud. Okay. Um, Make sure it's mud. <laughs> what you gonna well, do the, about it, Mezek? What you gonna do about it, huh? Wait till you're asleep. <laughs> now you're not sure if it was mud, because it uh, spooked you a little. <laughs> um, so. <laughs> Uh, the two of you glance over, and you can see there are two bridges that lead to the city itself okay. that go over the. But both of them look extremely heavily guarded. You have two passes of like three sets of guards that walk back and forth, armed with crossbows. Um, you guys do uh, as, as the midday rain is still pouring down, and it's causing the surface of the river to spatter. Um, you can see there's a, a little bit of what would have been morning marine fog that's been burning off since it went out there, so it's no longer really at your disposal. Uh, um, uh, however, you two do notice right across the river, against the bank before it rises up to the top of the city itself, you see what looks to be barely visible, the outside of a metal grate, some sort of a subterranean sewer or a tunnel system that is sealed shut across the way. It's a good, say, 80 to 100 feet across that river right now, and it does have quite the current to it, probably because of the rain's been pouring for most of the morning. Goblins um, plus sewers equals awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Smart one here, doing the math. Yes. <laughs> He's very good. So we have to we have to wade numbers. the river in order to get to the great. How, how, what do you want to do to get there? It's up to you guys. Do we have to go no, to the do, great? You don't have to. I, 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 I don't you like it. lightning, and I really want to use my hammer. <laughs> we can use As her. a result, those two are, those two things are connected. Don't question. Can you swim with your hammer? <laughs> I just want to smash the dudes over the bridge. The, the 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 are there gods on both bridges? Are there gods on both bridges? I yes, oh, actually, yes. Yes. Oh, look, I think, just putting it out there, that great is really, really good because there's no people in there, and humans are dum dums. Are you not goblins? Do you I'm, not like smashing human skulls? I like pure, pure, pure human skulls. I don't like to get in all up in the face thing, Piglet. I think he's a coward. Oh, no, I know How dare coward. you call Grisnak the Great <laughs> a coward? And I want to, um, I want to, uh, I don't have magic mouth. Uh, I want to grease her. <laughs> I want to just cover her. Well, who doesn't? <laughs> 
I want to do. I just got weird quick. All right. <laughs> yeah. Do I roll? Do I roll to not be greased? We, we, we die in the brambles and then we begin to grease each other. <laughs> so it has started. The game has indeed <laughs> started. I will show your true power as like grease just splurts out from my hands. Yes, and uh, I roll for, against grease. for you, I I, I need you uh, to make a reflex saving throw. So go ahead and roll a d20 and add your reflex. 19, oh, I will have well, you know. Okay. Plus, where's my reflex? That's pretty good. Yeah, uh, yeah. A little box oh, five. That probably is going to thwart my You rolled a 19? Uh, 19 plus five. Yes, you rolled a 19. Shit. <laughs> you go and begin to spew grease out from the outside of your goblin staff. Uh, It'll call however, me a fart rage for nothing. A, a little ball of anger and mus muscular rage instead just darts out of the way, slamming into the side of the sandbank that you are currently playing in the, the, uh. the mud and clay with, causing that to collapse partially onto you. You're now partially buried under the clay, and what little bit of your head is pointing out is now being sprayed with grease. <laughs> Movement. Oh, oh, sorry. That was meant for piglet. So, uh, okay. <laughs> High five. Yeah. <laughs> All's forgiven. I say we do the opposite of whatever he wants to do. So we're gonna get the humans. We're gonna smash them with hammers and other. Sharp well, we're supposed to be stealthy. Can we do it? Be stealthy. I think stealth is better. Stealthy. Oh, There's a way to fine. smash humans with stealthy. Can I smash the great with how, the hammer? How many gods are there? Uh, looking. There's about six to each bridge that you can see. Uh -oh. Can I tell if it's more advantageous for any reason to go through the bridge versus the sewer? Uh, Combat. Go. <laughs> well, like, is it faster or is it like? It's hard to say. A town full of people. Make 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 an intelligence check. Just go ahead and roll. This is not going to go, go well. Roll twenty. <laughs> <laughs> roll for comedy. Oh, Whoa! Natural one. Natural one. Wow. Was Ten altogether. Ten altogether. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, you you know humans. You know them pretty well, and they're tall, but they're pretty weak. There's a lot of them on these bridges. That's a lot of really really weak things. Conversely, in the sewer, who knows what's in there? There's filth. There's scavenging pieces. And uh, possibly dirty humans. So it's up to you. Do you want to go out in a delightful goblin blaze of glory? Or do you want to go out in a delightfully messy goblin blaze of glory? The disembodied voice makes a good point. Let's go in the sewer. <laughs> <laughs> right! Let's drown rather than be stabbed! How are we gonna cross? Drowning is the way Zargonel would want I us to I thought you go were gonna out. build us some flotsam. All right, I'll <laughs> flot some. I'm I'll... really, I'm really nervous. About water, it makes me I like burning I can, things. I can carry you. I'm strong. I want to look yeah, around to see strong. if there's anything to add to the splotsam pile. Can uh, Snizzler help me? Uh, I want to help and, you and Markel help me. Uh, build like a rough raft. Yeah, build Seven. a rough raft. Like a shitty raft. <laughs> Seven. I right. roll Seven. as well. Good to know. Go uh, Seventeen. Great. What, what am I adding here? Don't I have like good stuff for tinkering? Do you want to tinker? I think this is a survival. Yeah, this is survival. This is. Oh, this is survival. <laughs> Ten. Okay. But he rolled pretty 17. good. It takes you guys the better part of about 30 minutes or so as you find things in the nearby edge of the woods. You start pulling up the bits of clay and sand that you were buried under as something caught your foot and it was a bit pointy, but you found a chunk of driftwood that looks to make its way there. Um, I would like you all to make a stealth check as you oh, are yeah. now having to dart in and out of the forest to <laughs> find material, <laughs> whether or not you're being... The highest, the highest of all time. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, 18 plus 14. Okay. Three plus twenty. Twenty-three. Plus twenty. Goblins. Oh my Goblins. god. Goblins. Thirty-six. <laughs> Damn. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. Eighteen. Okay. <laughs> you guys definitely running back and forth along the bank of this river, grabbing what you can out of the sand and the dirt, uh, apparently entirely unnoticed, as there even is a, a series of guards that come by, four of them, that just walk on past. One of them, you swear, stared into the forest right at you and went, Be garden gnomes, you guys! Garden gnomes! Hey, Stephen, did you leave some gnomes out here? The stupid gnomes. And they just keep on walking past. <laughs> Garden gnome act gets them every time. It's so good. <laughs> That's my favorite bit. It's so good. It's so good. Wait, well, so I good. want some garden gnomes. And he runs back <laughs> in. <laughs> Man, look kind of filthy. They're all green from the mold. Stupid garden gnomes. And he keeps filthy. on walking. Again. <laughs> I don't 
Oh, this is the you first one that's gonna go pew pew. I agree. I don't remember that. Boom boom. <laughs> boom boom pew pew. Remember, boom, two boom. arms, two legs, one head. We'll find him again. Well, yeah. <laughs> I've got his face. I've got his yeah. beady so, face. You guys have crafted this raft. It's less of a raft and more like a like a pool noodle buoy thing. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Let's all yes. let's all get on a pool noodle, which is basically just a giant branch. Yes. Yeah, this is the, this is first, that's the first smart thing you've said all day. <laughs> just, this is less like Tom Hanks and Castaway, and more Gollum in the river. Like you guys are having to like hold on and move across. However, as you push it into the water, it is buoyant and it does seem to carry buoyant the current. Good. Does tend to push it, so you guys are going to have to try and guide it across <laughs> against the current. Um, if I could have you all make a swim check no, as you're like no, 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 paddling across the current. We're so bad at it. Oh no! <laughs> oh boy, this is so bad. <laughs> I'm very bad at swimming. My robes are <laughs> my robes are so long. It's like a, okay. Four. Oh, swim. My okay. robe my, my robes are like as, as as big as like a toddler trying to put on their mom's nightgown. I'm just I have a fear of swimming. <laughs> Sorry, seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. I'm so waterlogged. So, so you guys are like pushing along, and the three of you are kind of you know back to back, feeling that goblin power getting in there. Along, oh, I swallowed a fish. <laughs> Share, share. <laughs> you glance over your shoulder and see the two of them just going. <laughs> oh, fearless leaders! It's perfectly appropriate. As part of the screaming echoes out, you hear something distance go. Did you hear that? <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you guys just kind of like stop moving, and the current carries you, and you just kind of slowly begin to rotate, and the oh, water being wow. rained on in the face. And you see a couple guys uh, look as you just kind of drift under the, the bridge in the, on the far left side oh, of where you God. enter, and they just look down and go, Man, they throw away anything these days. <laughs> <laughs> perfectly good piece of wood. So Chris, <laughs> under the bridge, you guys have a moment to go ahead and try and push to shore. Go ahead and roll swim checks again. Okay. Come on. Better. I'm so afraid. It's worse. 20. 16. All right. 20. 20. Negative one. <laughs> oh, no. It's okay. What, are you made of lead? <laughs> That's the opposite of swimming. I have a negative four swim. I just want to point that so, out. So, <laughs> you guys are, are pushing there. You're flying you're, to the air. You're making headway. Making headway, except for the fact that Snizzler is like going, ah! and pushing each of your heads under, just trying to climb out of the water. Stop, 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 stop it. Stop. Just kill it. Let's just Everyone? knock. Let's just knock her out. We'll need someone to carry all of this yeah. stuff. I can carry it. I'm strong. As the splashing and chaos hits, you guys poof, hit the sandbank on the other side of the river. Uh, you have managed to cross it primarily. Okay. Uh, the Snizzler just so vomits as soon as he as soon as he hits hits hit, as soon as he hits land. Just I scoop some. Of I want to go through the vomit to see if there's anything too. interesting in there. I was so gonna say I'm, I'm, I fight to get yeah, to we'll vomit. we'll fight. We'll fight. We'll fight for yeah. the vomit. All right. I want both of you guys to roll initiative real fast to see who gets to the vomit first. What's in it? Oh, 11. What did you get? Uh, I got 11. <laughs> you guys both. <laughs> Tonk. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, Smezek grabs a hand scoop up of this kind of crusted sand. I have a jug. Puts it in the jug. <laughs> Go Closes it off. <laughs> Baby <laughs> Goblin is amazing. <laughs> Which point you hear another voice say, "Would you hear laughing?" Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go check, and you hear a number of footsteps. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast ghost sound. Okay. <gasps> See if I can uh, distract them away. Okay. What kind of um, sound are you producing? I'm gonna produce uh, a righteous uh, merriment-making sound. Okay. Um, yes. Uh, on the direction of that includes like it sounds like drunken storytelling. Okay. Yeah. So. At this point, you guys watch as Griznak spins around, focuses for a second, putting his staff forward, and uh, quite a ways away, you begin to hear this boisterous, <laughs> that's what I was going to say. <laughs> Start blasting from the opposite side of the bridge, kind of up near the rocks that begin to meet the top, or the, the, the base of the city's foundation. Uh, the, the footsteps shift, and you hear them going across the wood planks above you on the bridge. 
in the direction that he's set. Now it's your time to go ahead and dart for the grate on the outside of the Let's sewer. Start. Start. Roll stealth checks, all you guys. Stealth checks. Oh, that's leaning. Jeez, I'm getting rid of that dice. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Forty. Four. You, you, you vanish from time and space. <laughs> she folds to be one dimensional. You have a fifth dimensional goblin in your team now. Uh, Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Nineteen. Twenty-two. Okay, you guys darting through the rain using the edge of the rocky uh, what bank. What took you so long? <laughs> You get to the grate, and there is indeed Brown Tooth just kind of sitting there picking his teeth with one of his blades. What? I don't How do you do that? What? I don't. Yeah. What? You were just. What? I meant to just end it with a. I... Sometimes it pays to be quiet. <laughs> I think we all learned a valuable lesson. That's a very fair point. <laughs> now, <laughs> who's going to rip off this grate? Me! Oh, cool. <laughs> Piglet, go ahead and make a strength check. So roll that and add your strength modifier. 25. 25. Whoa. With one hand, <laughs> just like holding the hammer, one hand just goes, tink, grabs the grate, and spins it in place, just sending <laughs> rust and metal sparks, <laughs> and just boom, throw it behind you, sploosh. And then it goes like river. this. Again, I, I would like to mention <laughs> about the being quiet part. <laughs> I uh, I take a moment to absorb all of that amazing that just happened right there. You're and, welcome. Uh, You're welcome. Yeah, Griznak, not being the strongest of the bunch, is easily swained by uh, <laughs> by uh, intense um, oh feats my. of strength. Oh my! <laughs> Griznak, you look like you want to grease her again in a whole new way. I wish he had another grease spell prepared. <laughs> okay. At which point you hear the the howl of distant wind and the droplets of condensation within the depths of this sewage system, beckoning to you as an as an entry portal to this city, secretly, privately, and hopefully to wherever this festival is happening, where you can gather this this storm rock. It smells just like home. Yes, moldy and clammy. Yeah. Hey, do you remember that time when we were in Juvie and they threw us down in the lockbox for like oh, a month? Dude. And we I don't got so that. blazed. We got so blazed. That was so good, man. <laughs> yeah, this reminds me yeah. just of that. Yeah, I agree. I, don't remember I any feel of that excluded. Happening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> remember when I ripped the grate off of the thing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, those were the days. When did that happen? That I don't remember really that. Cool. So I think yeah. I think I'm think we're all gonna want to sneak. Let's go inside. Sneak around inside. Want to keep uh, my eyes peeled for things that might be useful or can contain alcohol. Okay. <laughs> you guys step your way inside the sewer. Uh, the the slick stone structure of it is just lots of of. Uh, re re residue buildup from from various minerals that have come through as well as. Uh, various degrees of uh, wastewater that have found their way to the river. Um, the smell is horrible for anyone but you guys. It's a familiar scent. As you make your way inside, you can uh, about say about a hundred feet in. As you're kind of going through the darkness here, um, which you guys can see right in the dark. You're like I got this. this is this is Goblin's realm speciality. Dark vision, guys. Um, I'm only back. I check to see if there are any insects that are you know tasty looking. Uh, go to make perception check. Oh. 21. Already? Um, yeah, just... <laughs> you do see, as you're stepping by, what appears to be uh, a cluster of some sort of an egg sac <gasps> that is just pushed up into the corner along kind of the, the curved rotation of this duct. Uh, it's roughly the size of a, of, a, of a large melon, and it twitches. I will burn it with flare. Yeah. Uh, I'll burn it, we'll eat it! Taste burn, it! Burn, burn, burn. Looking up at it, <laughs> it bursts into flames. Oh <laughs> who, Roasted spiders who are best. Who burns food? <laughs> Roasted spiders are best spiders. See, you guys aren't smart, so you don't know that burning spiders just makes them that much tastier. Are there spiders and left crispier. to eat? You go and glance, and the, the slight tiny series of squeaks you hear <laughs> as the hundreds of tiny spider young have burned. Uh, to just, their end, there is a nice waft of, of, of cooked scent that hits, hits your nose, and the, the, the rumbling in your tummy takes over as yeah, you reach out I and just them. grab pieces, and you guys all leap in at once, grabbing small chunks this of what you can. This is the best. You want it like, crispy on the outside, but gooey on the inside. I wish that was tartar sauce. Oh, wait. I open up the jar. <laughs> <laughs> Smear some on his spider tongue. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> 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 
Do you just season our our burnt spider egglets with vomit? Not yours. Don't just knock his. it. Don't knock it. You don't get it. This is the good shit. I burnt it for you. I want it fair and square. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna also cast arcane mark on the side of this wall and mark that we were here. Okay. <laughs> Particularly Grisnak the greatest was here is what I'm going to mark. Okay. So. But it really just looks like a giant butt with like a. Like I was about to say, can you even read and write? No like, okay. words. <laughs> no, there's no words. Grisnak no. the Greatest, the symbol for Grisnak the Greatest is literally a goblin Gross. with two cheeky farts <laughs> and a cloud coming out. I was like kind of imagining like a goblin dick, dick butt. Like, it's a little <laughs> bit like a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> that is the mark of Grisnak the Greatest. So. The goblin dick looks just like a human dick, but with spurs. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Thank you. Don't My draw very valuable That's lesson this evening. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Physiology. That's how you know it's love. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Tumblr, get on that. Oh, oh God. Okay. Oh, Too late. Oh, Moving okay. on. <laughs> I can't unsee it in my mind. You won't have to. You're going to go on the internet in about an hour and it will be there. There's nothing that can be done anymore. You did this, Phil. You, you did, did this. this. We're not kidding. We're not even this. kidding a little. Uh, all right. We'll have it's like the great on has left his arcane mark. <laughs> uh, Goblin dick butt. Progressing That's forward sorry. for the next. A couple hundred feet into the slick sewer, uh, kind of making your way along uh, embankments where bits of, of clutter, uh, broken sticks, uh, chunks of wayward stone, and and um, you know mortar pieces that have just washed down here have built these small uh, kind of half walls of just junk that have kind of mucked up against the side. Snizzler takes a firecracker that he has. <laughs> And just secretly like lights it and throws it behind him real fast without telling anybody. Okay. <laughs> you guys walk forward until you all glance over your shoulder real fast. I attack. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and roll and attack. Thank you. <laughs> I attack um, the darkness. That's yes. uh, <laughs> 14. 14. Yeah. Okay. You turn around real fast as a piece of rock that is set loose from this small firecracker explosion whisks in the air, and you just punch <laughs> it directly <laughs> with your fist. <laughs> Go ahead and roll damage. <laughs> I forgot he's a goblin bunk. He punches things. Uh, that's five. Five. With that, poof, you turn this, this piece of of mildewed, slimy, uh, uh, sewage-encrusted stone to dust as it just poof in front of you, holding your fist as it shakes there, quivering, your eyes open. What's, what any buzz you may have carried from your morning alcohol has waned from now, and you are far more awake, conscious, with a mild headache, Best. Guys, we're, we're, we're into this campaign, and so far the only thing that we've defeated is a rock. <laughs> this is the best goblin campaign. <laughs> Uh, the path, uh, the path does ow. split about oh, here now and divides choices. to the right and left. Ooh. Can I roll perception to uh, see, to see... Uh, if there's anything different about them? Sure, go for it. Ooh. Seventeen plus four is seventy-one. Piglet, you're you're the instinctual tracker. Most goblins hunt with traps. You hunt with teeth. <laughs> um, so you get down and. Getting, getting into the muck and pushing it aside, and you know, less than a visual perspective here, you can smell yeah. that the bulk of the waste that comes through here comes from the left path. That probably means more waste, which more means waste. more people. Yeah. Right. More waste, more people. So we should go away from the people. Um, uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. what are we doing? Yeah, what are, why are we here? Rock. Yeah, the blue stone. A rock. The, no, the, the blue rock. man. The rock. With no, no, no. With the blue man. Stone. No, no, no. The crack man with the blue stone. The crack man. Zachary. Uh, Zachary. That's right. the guy, right? All I remember. He's in blue. He's got blue. a rock. And he's whoa, whoa, whoa. That I remember he's in a birch, like a birch tree, right? Yeah. Birch. Not a church tree. Oh, church, church tree. tree. Church tree. Yeah, That's no, we right. stay under trees when there's lightning. That's what you're thinking. Right. Of. right, that's right. Because Zargamel likes to smite trees. Right. Do we go to the poop or away from the? We go towards the poop. To the poop. To the poop. To the poop. To the poop. We go down the. We go down the left channel. All right. You guys uh, charge. <laughs> you charge forward here. Wait, um, just to clarify, because I use my teeth, does that mean I ate poop to uh, find that tunnel? Well, I hope you save some for the rest of us. <laughs> no. You just had to smear it out of your teeth a little. Um, all right, pushing forward, you guys 
travel for another 80 or so feet before you come onto what appears to be uh, a large series of waterfalls that run into a central open uh, kind of a, a cesspool area that is down below this path. The actual the, the path diverts and goes around this central uh, tunnel before it continues in a singular direction as the water is pouring in. Uh, what do we see above? Make a perception check. Can I look as well? Mm -hmm. It's actually really 25. Here. <laughs> 12. Okay. <laughs> you look down in the cesspool and just kind of make a hakaloogie just to see how far it goes down. <laughs> 25 feet. Those are not supposed to be solid. <laughs> and deep, too. What? No. You glance up and uh, you can see there there is uh, some sort of a large, heavy grating that most of the water is pouring down from. Um, you're not quite, it looks like a lot of the rainwater run off from the city itself. Um, however, you do notice a glimmer uh, from what little bit of light that is kind of bouncing through from the surface through, and your goblin eyes catch this little glimmer in the corner, and you glance over and instinctually run towards it. You go ahead to take shiny. a look. You find what appears to be a, a, a hefty, well-made human short sword. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Short sword. Dibs. So it's a broadsword for you. <laughs> He's saying I'm small. <laughs> I'm saying we're all small. Oh, right. <laughs> In, uh, would you roll to... Was, what was the total in your perception uh, again? 25. 25. You take this, and the blade is perfectly clean. This place is filthy. This blade is perfectly clean, and as you glance over underneath the waterfall, you see another glimmer. Ooh! Ooh piece of I run and go over there. Okay. You guys with, all I, keep, I, I carry the sword with me. I don't trust I, wanna, I, I see that he's, I'm approaching cautiously. He's, he's, I, I want to push everyone else away and get there first. <laughs> get away, you can't even <laughs> see it, can Both you? of you guys make initiative checks right now. Four. Eleven! Wait, uh, plus six. Plus six. <laughs> oh, wait. Ten. Plus four. Fifteen. Fifteen. So, as you see this and you glance over out at the corner of your eye, you see Piglet, her eyes go wide, and both of you have that, that immediate knowledge of, me first! <laughs> you both dart off around two different sides of this cistern <laughs> and starting to get there. Uh, however, Piglet, you get there first and immediately <laughs> leap towards this shiny. And the shiny is bigger than you expected. I cast Mage Hand to see if I can snatch it from all three of them, throw away from the two of them. Uh, I believe, how, is it five pound maximum? Five pounds, yeah. You go ahead and cast Mage Hand towards that shiny and pull, and uh, it's a little heavier than you can okay. pull. Right. Uh, you get there and you grab onto it. What you notice as you get there is a set of, a full set of like a, like a breastplate oh. armor, like, like human size, giant breastplate with some shoulder pauldrons, uh, and what looks to be a human rib cage on the inside of this breastplate. Ooh, rib cage. You smell it? Marrow hasn't been tapped yet. Ooh. Can I eat it? You can. I eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Barbecue! Can I wear the armor? Or is it too big for me? It's pretty big. It, yeah, it's, it, it, you can sleep in it. Um, <laughs> um, Rinse it out! <laughs> so you, you grab the rib cage, break off a couple ribs, start gnawing on them, sucking the marrow out. Um, you do notice getting there, inspecting the rib cage is white. It is clean as well. You can see upon a close look as, as she's gnawing, you're not even paying attention, you see there's little like teeth marks on it, like rats have come through here and there, but overall the, the bone is perfectly clean. Hmm. The armor itself is spotless. It looks like it's been perfectly polished. Ooh. Mm. Um, mm. real good. You guys are missing out. Something this, uh, me a rib. Is there any of the armor what are you gonna do that for it? What can we can do? Is there money? any of the armor that we can fit, that any of us can fit? Uh, <laughs> you could try and pull scrap from it if you wanted to try and scavenge pieces of the metal. If we, if we pulled like the two shoulder pieces off, could we maybe like tie them together and wear them like 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 a like an Eda Joe sign? You could certainly try that if you want to. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a roll. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I will say. For this, this guy, you know, go ahead, go ahead and make a survival check on this just to try and. That's funny. No, I'm down. Uh, uh, <laughs> 12? 12. You managed to, yeah, for a minute with some help of a couple other goblins, <laughs> pull one of the pauldrons off. You kind of take it and. And goblinify it. I'll choke <laughs> yourself. <laughs> uh, uh, based on your, your combat aesthetic, it's not going to be much of a help to you. I'm um, uh, this is this is. I don't, never thought I would hear a goblin character say this, but can I like spellcraft to check to see if it's magical at all? Sure, yeah. the armor. The armor. Yeah, because it's Go super for it. clean. Thank and you. I almost want to just kick it into the cistern just to get it dirty. 
Um, I don't think it was. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know why I rolled because I'm just doing spellcraft. Yes, that's right. 19. <laughs> uh, the the armor itself does not appear to have a magical essence to it. Okay. Uh, in fact, a close look. It's pretty close to the the design the armor uh, the design of armor that the guards are wearing on the actual bridge itself. Uh, it's just completely polished down here in the middle of a dank sewer. Cool. Does the armor help any of uh, the rest of us? Uh, the goblin crafted. It's. I was, I was gonna. I'm gonna throw it at Piglet. Yeah. Yeah. It's, just throw it it's at you. delightful yes. decoration. Oh! Um, <laughs> something, something killed. <laughs> Are you a Woody Woodpecker now? <laughs> uh, I think. Uh, I think something killed. Something I th- killed. I think something is down here cleaning. Something. We've got to get out of here <laughs> before it comes back. I don't want whatever cleaned this armor to clean off Grisnak the Great's fine robes. <laughs> it will take the foss right out of you. Uh, is there any way to climb up to the Great? Uh, it's about 40 feet up from you guys. Uh, the path so continues high. across the cistern, um, deeper across into the city. The we didn't think about oh. having to crawl back out. Or be, beyond the cistern, and the, the tunnel just continues after it converges. Let's just keep going. I keep right. going. Let's keep okay. Going. Uh, roll. Uh, who's what? Who's 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 leading this expedition now? I think I'm more qualified to lead, but I don't like to be in front. I have the prettiest hat. Piglet. Piglet's <laughs> lead. I nominate you. Great. Piglet, go ahead and roll. Uh, roll perception. Perception is every time. There it is. Yeah. 19. 19, okay. Thank you. Uh, Word. <laughs> Alrighty. So as as you go, as you put your, your new shiny hat on and begin stepping forward <laughs> across the, the, the paths converge, you big you know, knees forward, stomping <laughs> steps, and you put your head forward and stop. <clears throat> as there's a distortion in the air before you. And you breathe out, huh? And it kind of whoa, 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 whoa. Quivers. Step aside, step aside. <laughs> Grisnak the Great is here. Oh, great. Mm. Let's get ready to be hit by lightning. <laughs> well, it looks like something wobbly. So it's probably magic. Well, mm. you make a perception check. I'm going to percept the shit out of this. Probably magic. Probably magic. 14. 14. You pull her aside, there's nothing visible in the air before you. You're wondering why she stopped, and as you step forward, you hit something. <laughs> At which point you guys watch as you suddenly notice there is a large cube-like oh, creature no. yeah. made of some, some quivering gelatinous material <laughs> as Grisnak <laughs> is slowly so, like being pulled into it. I'm gonna grab and make a oh. initiative. Oh. That's how we do it. Oh, you did ruin and add your initiative. Oh, you found a waterbed! How cool, man! Can I get my hands together at all? Or in my hand? You're. You, you can see right here. We'll, we'll see how this works out for you. All right, so with initiative rolls here. Oh, man. All right, where it is. I. All right, so initiative orders. We have 20 to 15. Uh, 21. 21? Oh, wow, okay. Oh, uh, you're 12. Yeah. 25. Woo! Yeah. 15. I'm 19. <laughs> 12. <laughs> um, what would you get? 15. 15. That's Niz. Grisnak is the best. <laughs> That's Grisnak, how long? What'd you roll? That's how long uh, it 12. took. 12. 12? Are you happy now? Are you happy? <laughs> May I? Oh. Oh, yes. no. I'm just worried for Dick Fight. <laughs> if you will it, it will happen. It will happen. Every Haven't time. you heard of that story of the little boy with the magical paintbrush? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so as you watch, God, that's life now. As you watch Grisnak sucked ground. into this giant like creature, you see it kind of shifting and going like. Whoa! Uh, top of the round is Brown Tooth. Brown Tooth, what do you want to do oh, on your turn? Lucky, lucky, lucky. <sighs> Suppose I have to attack it. <laughs> Pull me out! Um, Pull me out! <laughs> can I attack him or can I? Do I, can do I kill it? All right, I hit it with my cleaver. All right, go ahead and roll for an attack. Uh, 16 plus, do I add anything? Uh, yeah, 16, 16 plus. Your, your ten? Yep. Yes, oh, 16 wow. plus 10. That hits, go ahead and roll damage. So, do so you're probably gonna move up guy. to there. You, right. you can move five feet and do your second attack if you want to. You're close enough that you can attack with both. 
Oh, great. Okay. Uh, two. Plus one. And then, uh, plus one, three. <laughs> and, uh, do Does he just do one? it again? No, for your, and then you have to do the other hand, which is a different, so you have to roll again. Okay. The so what was the damage on the first one? Uh, it was uh, three. 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 Three damage, all right. And then that's plus uh, five plus eight. Plus eight. Uh, 13. 13 does Second hit. Number. It is a very low armor class because it's a giant cube, so go ahead and roll damage. <laughs> Good goblin bar. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. well four. done. Nice, all right. So, as you rush forward, taking your five foot step and attack with your first goblin cleaver, whoosh, you slice through uh, part of its its form and then slice through with your second one. As you cut each time, you can see that kind of leaves a giant opening and you cut a wedge out that kind of slops into the ground and turns to a, a, a slowly liquefying piece of water. The section that you cut out begins to slowly reform, but however, it does lose the mass that you cut of it. So it appears to be having some sort of impact. Uh, that finishes your turn, uh, Brown Tooth. Mezek, you're up. Um, all right, I'm going however, to actually real fast. Yeah, <laughs> just go ahead. This is this is part of the fun of it. Um, uh, no, actually, you're good. You're up. Uh, all right, Mezek, sorry. Keeping track of the rules here for the creatures. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was waiting so to hear. Long. And you, Grisnak, you were eating. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm going to take a deep breath. Oh, here he goes. And hit it with a stunning fist. Okay, so stunning go ahead and roll for the attack. All right. I have a stunning fist. He named it himself. <laughs> and your eyes are lovely. <laughs> One of them's mine. Uh, Stump <laughs> 16. 16 hits. Go ahead and roll damage for the fist. Don't stun uh, the goblin inside, please. Let's see. Uh, it's uh, 1, so it's six points of damage. Nice. And yes. then they have to make a fortitude save. Uh, what is the save, DC? 14. 14. Ah, oh, it rolls a 14 plus... Ah! Oh. Uh, plus nine, yeah. Oh. <laughs> this cube is unaffected by your It does go wobble, goblin. wobble, wobble, wobble. It does. <laughs> 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 you see me as I'm shifting and saying, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> 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 the cube. Cool. Uh, Sorry, so you moved into there. Wait, I got a joyride. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, uh, we could just turn it. You gonna stay where you are? <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna take a step back and pull out my cross and pull out my quarter staff. Now that I've had my turn. Okay, so you step back. It does get an attack opportunity as you move back. It's giant pseudopod kind of shoots out towards you. It wants to uh, stunning fist you. <laughs> rolls a. Uh, it's that's a 12. What's your armor class? Uh, touch or touch AC? Or armor class? Uh, no, this is just a. Uh, just 18. 18? Yeah. You, as it Damn. out towards you, you just really duck good. low with your quick goblin reflexes. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Ends up turn. Piglet, what do you want to do? I want to rage! Okay. <laughs> 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 oh, you go into full <laughs> goblin piglet rage. Grabbing your, your, your oversized <laughs> goblin uh, skull breaker hammer. Go ahead and roll your attack. I've always I've always wanted to hear goblin oh, wait, say that. Oh, okay, so it was 20. Plus seven. 20 plus seven, okay. 27. That hits. Go ahead and roll damage. And then, like, sometimes you can Makes me so happy. It's a d10, am I crazy? Uh, do you need a d10? Yes. Wait, Here. Come size. Uh, also, Grisnak, I need you to roll a Constitution save. Uh, sorry, oh, a uh, okay. Constitution so, base save into a Fortitude plus save. Four. Oh, that's a pretty one. Eight plus four. You're raging, so it should be a times three. Is that what it is? Or oh, it, no, it should say uh, your second attack down is, is during raging. So. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, okay. Hmm. So it's eight plus six then. All right, there you go. Fourteen points of damage as your hammer comes down. Wham! Hitting it, stopping an inch from the edge of Grisnak's face. <laughs> turn the, inside. the whole thing whoosh, 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 just shakes from the impact. Do I also get to bite because I'm raging? You do. <laughs> All right. Uh, so <laughs> lucky you! I have so many feelings right now. <laughs> Some of them are wobbly. 19. 19 that hits again. Go ahead and roll your bite damage. As you go in and bite a chunk out of this giant gelatinous mass like it's dessert. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, half a d6. Uh, yes, roll d6 and, and uh, yeah, divide it by okay. two. Boop. So it's a three. That would be two. two. Yeah, so two, two, two plus plus three. Three. two plus three. So you do five points of damage. <laughs> you do, <laughs> you giant goblin maw <laughs> bites into the side, right, once again, near, near Grisnak's <laughs> face. She's raging, she doesn't know where she is. As you pull a bit away, immediately as you pull back, the I'm rage okay is in that. you. You don't really notice the fact that your mouth has gone tingling and you've lost all sensation in your mouth. Oh no. Um, hey you know, Piglet, how's the Jello monster? 
Delicious. Yeah. <laughs> as, it, it kind of dribbles up. as she talks, her lips are numb, and it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and just dribbles down the front of her body. <laughs> yeah, you, your tongue and mouth aren't moving like they should. You just, you, it's, your goblin just got out of the dentist right now yes. because you had a bite out of it. That's um, the Novocaine cube. But uh, Grisnak, did you? That's it. It's the Novocaine, Novocaine cube. cube. <laughs> Wow. Chris, like, any, uh, did, did you roll your uh, fortitude save? Uh, uh, my fortitude save? Yeah, no, I haven't. Oh god, fortitude save. Eleven. Eleven. Okay. <laughs> Question mark. Okay, you are currently paralyzed for eight rounds. What? As as the uh, yeah, they um, being engulfed by this entity. It's actually caused all of your muscles to lock up, oh, and you feel that same tingling sensation as you glance over, and all the little hairs that might be protruding on your body dissolve, and part of your skin begins to peel away. Oh, I still shit. just, I still just had the last look that I had was just this stupid face of like <laughs> awe and wonder of piglet raging, and that's all that's on my face right now as I'm just paralyzed inside of the cube. My. All right, so finishing piglet's turn. That comes to uh, you, Snizzler. What are you gonna do? Um, does he have any like limbs or anything that are sticking out still? That are no, accessible? no, he is fully engulfed by the entity right now. Oh shit! <laughs> Where am I on the map? Uh, you are right there. Okay. And which way? This is the opening. This drops down about twenty feet, and the water is pouring into that right behind you. So, oh, that's be no careful way. where you're stepping. Oh, that's good to know. Um, okay. Snizzler runs up, takes out a pipe bomb. Can I like <laughs> shove the pipe bomb in the jello? You can if you want to. No. This is, is a great start, idea. This is, is it gonna start sucking me in? Go, go with it. Go with it. Do you want to go with it? So you take a step forward. <laughs> you I want to. I want to find the hole that Piglet kind of made. And okay, so, so you're, you're gonna step into there. And. Uh, uh, obviously, I'm right, yeah. Ob <laughs> explosive bomb. So you watch. You watch as this. This. Oh. Haphazard piece of metal shrapnel that's been, you know, matted together with, with like <laughs> pig feces and and you know twine. Just and goes, bird bones. And, and it's now right in front of you as you see a little a little uh, fuse going. Uh, I can't scream because I'm paralyzed, but inside I'm screaming. I'm no, screaming I just, very loudly. I look at Grizz and I go. <laughs> Are you gonna stay right there? Um, and I take a few steps back, not into the hole. So probably one, two. That's we'll good. Put you there. And <laughs> uh, as you, as you do that and pull back, another giant pseudopod goes woof out towards you and slams into the stone next to you. But you just kind of huh, that's the least of your worries Hang right on now. Hang on one second, man. As you pull back, <laughs> there's an explosion sound as it bursts inside the cube. Um, so uh, I want you to go ahead and roll for an attack on this. Okay. Just. Just for the for the purposes Sorry, of this. Sorry, Grizz. <laughs> Maybe That's true, Grizz. Eighteen. Eighteen. So yeah, this is a direct hit nice. uh, on the creature. So go ahead and do your your firebomb damage to the, oh, uh, to the cube. Oh, it just went into my soy sauce, but I'm gonna take it because it was a six. <laughs> <laughs> um, Salty. Ten plus three plus another D four. That's burn, what you call burn, assault burn, with burn, a deadly yeah. weapon. Oh. <laughs> Points of damage. 15 points of fire damage as it <laughs> bursts on the inside. You are paralyzed, cannot make a reflex saving throw. You take six points of fire damage from just oh. being in the blast radius. Say, of this I do thing. want to do an explosive bomb. So direct hits catch fire, dealing an additional 1d6 fire damage Ooh, every round. Good to know. So the so the actual cube is also on fire. On fire. This is like a cocktail I hope to have one uh, day. It's like the flaming due to the blast oh, radius, a flaming and be Nova because, of the, because of the size of your explosion too, because it's the 10 foot, the num -num. I need both of you guys to roll <laughs> reflex saving throws if you could. Uh, uh, that's what the drink's uh, called. I'm down for that. That's a 20. 20. Uh, yeah, D20 and add your reflex. 17. 16. 16. Uh, it's half damage, right, for that? So both of you guys take three points of fire damage as the the blast radius of this sends chunks of this creature sticking to the ceiling and oh, you have evasion. slopping I, down. I have evasion, so I, you take none because you're a rogue. Thank you. Have I have I at least been blown out any, of the cube, or am I still inside the cube? You used to play this you're, game. You're like partially out of it right now, with the blast <laughs> radius. So, so but it's slightly exposed. You're slightly you're, you're slightly exposed. It's partially exposed, and as you're like there going, it just. Closing around you slowly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that finishes uh, your turn. Now it is your turn. You take 
two points of acid damage as it begins to slowly digest you from the inside. <laughs> cool. Um, so guys, I will um, I will probably not last another couple of rounds. <laughs> no. Just to be clear. So I'm working on it. Okay. Uh, I have the, the skin is starting, but beyond just the burning. Oh god, the burning. <laughs> Uh, there is, you can see as as most of Grisnak's robes have been dissolved into nothingness, and part of his goblin face is starting to peel off, revealing my immensely beautiful crooked teeth. <laughs> so, yeah. If, if my parents taught me anything, a set of burning sensation is nothing to worry about. <laughs> yeah. no, no, no. You're good, you're good. All right, so. As you two are there right in front of it, the, cre- the, the thing begins reforming the front of it, which is currently blown open from the bomb that Snizzler left in there. It begins to shift and slither towards both of you guys. I mean, to engulf you as well. I need you both to go ahead and make reflex saving throws. Oh, oh man. No! I got seven. Yeah. seven. Do I get to know what the result would be before <laughs> I use my song? You just get to re-roll. Uh, yep. uh, you don't know what the result is, but do you want to use your song now? Two. Is that adding your reflex? I had a seven. Yeah, adding my reflex. Adding your reflex. What'd you get? Round two. I got um, 19 plus nine, uh, 28. You dart out of the way into the groove here as it moves forward. I was planning to do anyway. So as you just touch, as it begins to shift forward, Piglet in a moment of intensity, staring into the face of this for the first time, probably your entire life, you're like, I can die. (laughs) What are you gonna do? I decide, no, I'm gonna live forever! <laughs> and I'll sing my song. All right, go for it, what's your song? Uh, okay. I'm gonna try a thing, I don't know if it's gonna work. All right. I'm gonna try to sing my song to the tune of Kiss from a Rose. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's my go-to. You're, you're my favorite. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, let's see. Until she sees some loud ball of trash, lift the hammer down and crash. Piglet angry. Time to smash. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well done. So go ahead and re-roll. Okay. Please re-roll. post those Time lyrics at some point. I got two again. No! <laughs> no! no! I am gonna die. Oh. I mean, it, it wasn't a very brilliant. good song. <laughs> <laughs> As the creature has now engulfed both Piglet and S- you sh- get pulled up right next to it, kind of jammed into the currently paralyzed uh, Grisnak. Uh, I need you to go ahead and make a uh, fortitude saving throw. Oh my. Um, okay. I welcome. I changed dice. About welcome. It. Welcome to our new right. favorite drink here. Num go, yum. go nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, wow. that's, that's the serious business diet. <laughs> the num yum. The nuts. There we go. That's its cocktail name. That's its cocktail name. This is beautiful. Thank you. That's that's the angry die. The, the, that's the goddamn it die. That's the goddamn it die. <laughs> goddamn it, don't die. Yeah. And as you're like, you get pulled into it, you're trying to find your way through, you're pulled into the thing, and you feel like that same numb sensation all across. Which, by the way, your your goblin song maybe missed a few vowels because of the beta. <laughs> but the rest of your body begins to tingle, and you begin to fight against it, and your body won't move. No. Your body's paralyzed for six rounds. Only six? Jammed up against. <laughs> However, it does take another uh, d6 points of fire damage from your bomb. Just go ahead and roll that if you could. <laughs> it's a flaming num yum. Four. <laughs> Four points of fire damage. Alrighty. Uh, all right, that brings us back to the top. Brown tooth, you're up. You dodge to the side, you see it engulf. Mm-hmm. Uh, is it moving away from me? It is. It just moved this way and you sidestep and it's moving kind of parallel to you. Okay. I would like to get behind it and uh, shoot my crossbow. Okay. So you move. I've decided I don't want any more hand-to-hand combat. <laughs> no worries. A it super pod like a swings out idea. towards you, but you, it, it misses you entirely. As you dart backward with your crossbow loaded, you take aim and go ahead and fire. Uh, yep. That one's pretty good. Seven plus, seven plus nine, 16. You've heard the term, couldn't hit the broadside of a barn. Oh. Thankfully, this creature is the size of a barn. You manage to <laughs> sink the bolt into it. Go ahead and roll damage. <laughs> you feel a slight bit of pain at your back as a bolt kind of just <laughs> nips you in the butt. 
<laughs> but you can't do anything about it because you're paralyzed. <laughs> Good thing you got that epidural. Five points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait, is there, is there no no, oh my. <laughs> Uh, you guys can see the creatures like kind of shaking and shimmering. It's moving forward. It's having a hard time keeping its form together. It's looking really rough um, as it's slowly dissolving. Your two friends. Burn, burn, <laughs> fire. <laughs> All right, this is going to go ahead and bring us to Mezik. I am going to charge it with my quarterstaff and hit it with a flurry of blows. I don't have any key points right now, do I? Uh, no, because no, you have, you have not. That's right. You're I'm sober, sober and you. Uh, you, <laughs> you require a full round action to do flurry bro. Uh, <laughs> Fury of Bros. It's a Fury whole Bros. different class. Well, oh, so, so I can't make a move. I can't make a move. <laughs> uh, you, were, you were two squares right. away from it, so in order to get into it, you would not be able to do a full attack. Okay. Dum yum, dum yum, dum yum, dum yum, dum yum. Of course, I can't say any of this because I'm paralyzed. Someone just please just make a nice big flying swing with my stick. Um, that's. Thirteen. Thirteen hits, good roll damage. God damn. Uh, that's seven. Seven points of damage. Seven points of damage. <laughs> How do you want to do this? I want to just screaming bloody murder, squish it and splash it with the stick like you were trying to hit a rat scurrying around the ground, and I don't care once it's gone, I'm gonna keep hitting them. I'm just <laughs> No, Stella. I'm just gonna keep slapping and slapping and slapping okay. until it's mush. You guys watch as, as Mesut just goes batshit insane on this cube, smacks into the side, manages to hit like a core of its form, where some of the bones are floating inside from previous victims, probably the shiny things you saw earlier, the person oh, that once wore it, so bits of them are floating inside. As it, it begins to just collapse like a, like a, like a horrible old, old flan, and as it liquefies, part of it pouring into the cistern, uh, the two of their bodies are starting to be pulled in to the cistern with its help, form help, and able to change. Help, 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 help. Run in and grab, grab them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I help as well. <laughs> you guys grab Riz. them, pull them out onto the side. The, the last bit of the flaming corpse of this cube just sloshes into the cistern before Oof. you wait about another minute or so before you both get your bodies back. I take a little, a little goo out of his ear and. Oh! Ah, yeah, it's got a little kick. Yeah, you're right, man. You're right. I, uh, yeah. I, I, Take my nose and I go, and I yeah. watch this goo just goes out from either side of my ear. Is this what being greased feels like? <laughs> I don't like it. Uh, it's not easy. And being greased. greased. <laughs> <laughs> Having to spend. Okay. Uh, All right. So as as we're resting up for this, do you guys need to do any, any anything to heal up a bit? Uh, if we have things in which to heal up with, do but we, as do we of get, course. Like, any, like, Healing surges or anything like that? No, no, this nothing is not like that. No, nope. it's not uh, fine. Uh, this, uh, okay. so I'm, I, I don't think we have anything because I certainly didn't take, and we have no real. I have the healing skill. Can we try and like just use healing skill to kind of like sure? Reset I'll, let, I'll let you do that. Being, being the monk that you are. Yeah. 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 monk. All right. When they say it couldn't hurt, I'm not sure they're right. <laughs> All 20. Right. 20, and with that. Let's do this. Let's do this. For the various burn wounds in your body from the acid that's that's burned away, and parts of the actual burn damage you've taken from the explosion, uh, Mezik just rushes in and, like the roughest masseuse it's you've like ever the best seen, shatsu massage I've ever got. <laughs> just, just, just rubs uh, in all uh, the various. You know, Chiropractic is the key to everything. Oh. <laughs> You're holding a lot of tension. Oh. 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 That's good. That right there, right that one. Oh, that not especially. Yeah. Don't forget to breathe. Oh. I'll say for, that, for that sake, you go ahead and heal four points uh, oh, yeah. due to the the rhythmic massage of Mezek's rough and tumble goblin hands. I would like to point out that we goblin just we just uh, great massage. We just we just healed. You just healed me through a goblin massage, <laughs> uh, goblin shiatsu massage. Yes. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, that happened. So um, I'm feeling <laughs> with 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 vomit based massage oil. Oh yeah, it's I, organic. I, 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 Only the finest ah! for you. I step I step up and I crack my back a little bit and I'll do. I was like, okay, we're good to go. Let's do this. Alrighty. Oh, so, do, do, any, do any of my flasks actually have, or jugs, have any liquor in them? No. God damn it. Okay. Uh, have our make perception check. Uh huh. Uh, I also have a jug. I don't know what's in it. 20. 20. You have a jug. Uh, it's mainly just like sloshing water and, and grind. It your hurts. usual, your, your, we like to, to sip on the way of your journey. Mm. Uh, whatever you find along the way. You guys are into this whole scavenging thing. Uh, 
as you're thinking about this, oh, you didn't drink alcohol. You smell alcohol. Happy juice. Happy juice. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, you guys watch as Mezic darts down, ah! traveling. Follow him. He found burrs, which means when there's burrs, there's stuff. Oh yeah. And a happy mezzanug. Yeah, I like that. As you dart ahead, you come to the edge, and you can see there. Uh, there, the path continues for another 200 feet before it dips off, but you don't know quite where, but the scent is strong here, and you look over, and you can see the wall to your immediate right it actually has like a fissure in it, like a part of it has cracked, a part of it semi-eroded away, mm. and you can see a very distant, dark glimmer of something beyond it. I stick my hand in and, and go for it. Go ahead and make a strength check. Mm -hmm. oh, that's not funny. Eight. Eight. You go and grab the stone. Uh, you lift your whole bo goblin body up on it and start pulling. As you guys catch up, you see Mezic fighting with this wall and making no headway whatsoever. Piglet, let me smash this with a hammer. I'm just going to grab. Let me smash this with a hammer. I was going to say, I'm going to grab uh, Mezic's uh, waist and just help him pull so that we're just two goblins pulling on it. <laughs> at the same so you guys time. are both like double pulling. You go make strength check as well. Yeah. Go ahead and roll an attack against the wall. Oh, is Mezic getting in a fight with a wall again? <laughs> He does this, but just yeah. humor him. Okay. He usually loses. To be to be fair, I owe him one. Is it, is it so, plus strength? Uh, plus strength modifier. Oh yeah. Uh, well, go, go ahead and uh, and just roll damage because you hit the wall. It's it's oh, it's okay. outside of a critical fail. Uh, you're okay. fine. Okay. So then, should I do just my normal? Oh yeah, just normal one d ten plus. Uh, you're not raging, so it'd be plus four. Five. Five points of damage. As you guys are pulling it. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, the hammer comes down as Piglet smashes into the side of this wall. The stones crumble inward, and you both go flump, flung forward into the darkness, tumbling over each other before you both poof against the wall, slowly slide down. As you look around, you're you're inside this this darkened uh, chamber. Um, glancing around you, you, you first off immediately notice that there is a heavy smell of alcohol in this room. We're at one of one of those humans call a or a tavern. Oh, like nice. one of those, or, or, oh, yeah. or one is of like those. like a cellar a, bar, a, I, a cellar. Yeah, it's where they do their fighting at. It's oh, the, yeah, it's, the, yeah. it's, it's basically where humans go to beat up each other. It's a goblin pit. Right. Sound like heaven. It's amazing. <laughs> I heard they you also pick up chicks. Whatever. <laughs> oh, maybe chickens. Chickens? chickens. Which you do. Chickens. There, there are oh. chickens here? There's uh, chickens here. It's there. like a who were house. Right? You guys. Ooh. So they eat owls too? <laughs> Chickens and owls? I'm getting hungry! Yeah, Baby yeah. owls! Like As like you guys are getting waffles, hungry, you look around this chamber you're in, uh, you see what looks to be uh, uh, a sack of moldy grains. There's like oh. small oh, containers of, of salts and spices, oh, yeah. dried meats that are like put oh. on racks against the wall. We eat and everything. Casks and bottles of wine Done. and ale, ale all throughout this. We, going for the ale. We forgot about our mission for as long as it takes for us to eat everything in this cellar. You guys go nuts, just devouring everything around you, grabbing meat, filling your bellies. You, you can welcome to fill your jugs with alcohol Filling, filling my flask and do my it. water scan. Does this, this yeah. maybe help me? My fill. Do you clear out your jug first, or do you just add it to what's no, in there? No, I'm just gonna add it. All right, cool. <laughs> Does this help me at all settle. with my current hit point situation? Uh, <laughs> yeah, do we eat, eat up, maybe? Uh, Go ahead. You know what? For, in a nice for, way. For the cir for the circumstances here, I, uh, I'll say yeah. You heal one hit point from the food. Okay. All right. Um, just one hit point. <laughs> from feel, all, feels like it was two because of the wine. One hit point. Feels like it's two because of the wine. Regain a hit point. <laughs> but I'll yeah, I'll eat it all. It will make it will make it, if, if anything it will just allow me to. Feel I will better. say if you want to go ahead and tear into that moldy grain, that might heal you a little more. But I'll, uh, it it looks like your stomach might. Have a rough time with it. Do you want to go Maybe for it? Maybe you have to have a chat with a spirit I'm a, animal. I'm a goddamn goblin. Nothing bad happens when you eat You get moldy on top grain. of that moldy grain, you tear into it I'm and start jamming. I'm just, just going to shut. Actually, at one point, I'm going to take one of the one of the pots and I'm just going to scoop it and I'm going to pour it over my head because I know that moldy grain has healing properties. <laughs> and I'm going to pour it over my head and then as I put it into my mouth, I'm going to rub it all over my burning sores. I call you Grisnak the Glutinous. Yes. <laughs> I'm imagining like Orson then, Welles at the end of Apocalypse Now right now with the towel. Yes. Uh, uh, also, Arcane Mark on the cellar wall. <laughs> Goblin <laughs> dick butt, you know. Right. Grisnak the Great has been here. As, as you go ahead and focus over on the wall, you hear this rumbling in your stomach. 
<laughs> go ahead and roll a fortitude save. Yeah, I'm really prone. good at fortitude saves. Why can't I do will saves ever? Fortitude saves. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, Literally. It's, it's what? Eight. Eight. Well, the good news is you uh, you heal uh, three additional hit points Woo! Uh, as your goblin metabolism takes in the, uh, the, the, the horrible moldy grain. Uh, the downside is you then vomit up all the moldy grain. And I lose the hit points. Uh, you lose the hit points. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of the wine that I put and put it out on my jug. Okay. I feel um, great I until I vomit it back up again. I had all the wine in my when jug I, and I got rid you, of it. You, you, you don't have vomit. one. So now, <laughs> now you, you have more spice yourself. though. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like to secretly pocket some of the dried meats. Okay. To take with me. Cool. Right. Secretly, and so nobody else sees it, or no. just make, they don't see it. Make, make, make a sleight of hand check. I like a man with secrets. Oh my god! This should be uh, uh He just shoved an entire cow. 32. Down his pants. He rolled, no, tell, tell, tell him what you rolled. I rolled a natural 20 with a plus 12. <laughs> As everyone else is marveling themselves at this display of goblin gluttony, you step backwards, and somehow in the process of like giving your fellow goblins a little bit of a head nod, you have managed to fill all of your pouches and pockets with every single piece of meat on that wall. <laughs> it goes from full to empty in a second. <laughs> And no one's the wiser. <laughs> so you, got like, you got like you got like saddle bags filled with food right now, and no one seems to have noticed. Brown tooth, yeah. you're looking very fit. Well, you know, I woke out. You're very curvy. You're so you're curvy. Like you, got, you got a little chunk in the trunk. It looks good. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. It's, it comes uh -huh. from my mother's side. Uh, sure, yeah, yeah. You're from your mom, man. As you guys are finishing this mountain of goblin gluttony, we're gonna go ahead and take a quick break here. We'll be back here in All a right. few minutes. Goblin Sorry. gluttony. Goblin gluttony. Don't let goblin me forget, gluttony. I wanna try and find some wine bottles for Molotov cocktails. Don't All worry. right.
So, we've had a little break here. Uh, we're jumping back into the chaos here. So, this goblin band having taken root in the this, this storage basement beneath this this human bar <coughs> in the center of the town of Sandpoint. Um, oh wait, I want to make sure I find some uh, some wine bottles. Maybe I can make some Molotov cocktails real quick. Maybe. Okay, you uh, you gather a couple of bottles of wine. Uh, you not really being able to read the labels. Um, <laughs> gather what seems to be alcoholic and functional. Looks expensive. Looks like Molotov. <laughs> <laughs> Good All right. Glug, 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 glug. All right. Uh, while this is happening, does anyone want to uh, do anything else uh, here? I Mike? want to roll in the discarded grain that I then threw out to give you temporary experience uh, hit points, and I just want to roll in it. Okay. You roll around in it, and you feel like it'll give you su sufficient protection against uh, like a like a light wind. Yeah. Like a dog rolling in this vomit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, That's exactly how it's going no. down. You can't, you can't hear the footsteps and what sounds like voices from upstairs. There is a ladder in the far edge of this room that leads up to a trap door, uh -oh. and when the trap door is closed, and you can hear what sounds like the occasional chuckle, voices that are muffled through the wood. It appears like there is an actual tavern above you uh, on street level that has a handful of patrons in it. So, do we escape through the tavern? Or do we go back into the caves and see if we can get under the godly the turper oh. place? And I roll a perception to see if there's any other way out apart from the place with all the humans and the place we just came from. Uh, sure. That's not great. It's a 10. 10. Plus, plus. I mean, there's the path you could keep going, or there's the tavern. So we can go. Oh, right, we could go. We can go to keep going, going, going. Keep going to find the birch tree, which church. is where the church, right? The birch. Which, as a note, you um, guys currently have no idea where in the city you are. We're You're just in the sewers. This is this is fine. This is part of the plan. Um, <laughs> don't even worry about it. Uh, or we could just run out into the streets. Goblins. That sounds decidedly unstealthy. <laughs> <laughs> I say we keep going down until we find a uh, poop that seems like it's from a blue man. I am like that, yeah. all Look for, for the blue poop. brown tooth. Let's go find the blue poop. That's fine. We're going to find the blue poop. Blue poop. Right. Blue poop. Onward. Ready. So we're going to crawl back out through the hole that we made. Maybe there's more, more cellars like this, too. S mm -hmm. Cellars okay. with. Mm -hmm. With you guys, more food. you guys, climb out outside of the section of the broken wall and continue down the path. As we as we leave, I would like to leave a parting flare into the cellar because burning. <laughs> okay. Because burning. Fire. Fire. The uh, as I leave, I'm just like <laughs> on my way out. Okay. You see that flare coming in to, to slowly cause an ember to burn at the edge of a burlap sack. Of uh, <laughs> some spices in the corner. Good one. Good one. Right. You guys continue to walk down this pathway and in the sewage system for about another hundred or so, 150 feet. Uh, it slowly pinches into about a five foot wide tunnel. Uh, you guys can stand shoulder to shoulder, two at a time, at your goblin size to get across. And uh, the little bit of water that is coming through here from the rain runoff uh, from some of the, the upper kind of. Uh, Great areas that are just pouring in uh, it seems to be running to the edge, and you do stumble a uh, ways ahead before you find out that there that drop off that you noticed. You come up to it, and it is indeed a drop off. You glance down, and the walkway you're at ends abruptly oh. around a large cylindrical cistern type chamber, um, probably a good 80 feet across, and about. 80 feet down, further than your vision can really see. You don't see a bottom of it. You just see. What does the loogie tell me? Uh, you you spin on the loogie. Make a perception check. Loogie perception check. <laughs> We're all rolling too. You 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 get so caught up with the flow of the loogie that you keep leaning forward, further and further. <laughs> Trying to figure it out as your heels lift up. Woo! You guys watch <laughs> as Kriznak suddenly tips forward and goes over the edge. Well, he's dead. 
Does anyone even catch me? Because I'm going to sing my song. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything any of us can do for you at this uh, point. Would it be acrobatics? Uh, no, th this would be a straight up, I'd say, dexterity. Go oh. ahead and roll dexterity check on this one. See if you can, like, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll join her in it. Okay. okay. All right, I'll, I'll, join. We'll I'll try it. Goblin. But this is the last time I save Goblin your ass. Goblin chain! Guys, I am the worst. I am the worst. Goblin chain. We're going to goblin chain this. <laughs> Everyone loop together! Twenty-one. Uh, thir uh, thirteen. Oh, oh, what? Oh, this is just... Are you not helping out? You're just watching? No, I'm goblin chaining, and that's with them. Uh, straight dexterity? Yeah, I would... Uh, twenty. Total. Twenty, okay. Uh, Piglet reaches forward and goes over to... My <laughs> 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 As they both begin to, like, tumble over the edge, you grab and you both slip forward. The three of you manage to grab the back of Piglet and pull her up, and slowly you guys get back up into the tunnel. Um, but not, but not. No, 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 Piglet the managed to grab right. like the very back of, uh, Damn of, of Grisnak. Damn guys, we're badasses. Uh, <laughs> Just like we practiced. Grisnak, you're really frustrated because you swear you were this close to seeing when that, that thing would drop before you got guys, pulled up. What, what's the big deal? I just, I was almost there. I almost saw it. Oh, hi. No more saving you. <laughs> well. I have an alternate plan. What if I just throw one of you across to the other side? Mm. I have another alternate, alternate plan. I look to see if there is any way to climb up. Okay, make your perception check. Hmm. Uh, the math is killing me. <laughs> 24. Uh, you glance upon the sides of the stonework on the inside of this giant cylindrical cistern that leads up to the uh, where all the water is pouring in from. Uh, Glancing about, there are very, very sparsely set stones that are slightly more uh, protruding than the rest. Uh, you gather they could be leapt from stone to stone um, if one is so interested in being a good climber. So there is a way, yeah. Goblin toss. <laughs> that other thing that sounds way boring. Goblin toss. Oh, we could go back. I volunteer as tribute. You know yeah, I'm gonna oh. toss. You want me to toss you? I tie the rope to my to my waist, and I tie the rope to his rope. Tie the rope all the way her. across. I have all rope. the way across. Okay, so I have fifty feet of rope. <laughs> Mizzik takes ties the rope around. Who gets the other end of the rope? Uh, Give piglet. Okay, so piglet. You have one side of the rope now. Uh, Perhaps we should. Right, I'm gonna start swinging him around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because there isn't a lot. So, uh, roll strength check. <laughs> I approve of this plan on every level. Twelve. Twelve. So, you swing him around once before you realize that because you're up against the wall, there's not a whole lot of space and <laughs> into the stonework. Uh, you take one point of bludgeoning damage, hitting the side as soon as it slips down and then is now dangling and you kind of pull him back up. All right. Let us try this. Toss. 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 There's, a, there's a big gap in Mesic's uh, grin as a tooth is now missing from that. It looks good. Yeah, no. I've, it suits you. It was hurt. More, more space to eat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> straw holder. Uh, all right. All right, well, that's all, all right. my plans. Uh, I, I, let me, I, I like your plan. Across. Oh wait, I can toss him across. There, is there something on the other side? Did I just make that up? Uh, is look, there more Looking path? across the way, you can see there is another opening 80 feet across. <laughs> 80 Shall I try 80 to feet. toss him? Well, I only have 50 feet of rope. That would have gotten really broken. <laughs> you can try. Uh, Are you, do you still volunteer as tribute? I volunteer. You I, volunteer? I think I have a plan. Ah. It only works for me, though, but fuck you guys. <laughs> All right, I'm going to toss I, you. And I wait, take, no, wait, no. first I take out a bottle and I drink it. <laughs> And a shrink. I take my reduced person vial. Oh. Extract. Okay. Extract. This what is you know normal sized uh, snizzler all of a sudden sh shrinks down to about half the size now. Voices higher. Appearance is ridiculous. You guys all, all can't help but get a <laughs> chuckle at this. Okay, are you ready to throw me? <laughs> <laughs> I take, I take Don't her. Don't laugh at me. I take her little tiny arms and I start making her dance like a little doll. Stop <laughs> it! I'm Snizzler, 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 Snizzler. I like to fly. I like to fly. Mom! Snizzler, I, you immediately regret this decision. 
All right, now I'm gonna toss you. Okay. All right, all right. Yeah, uh, I, I'm going to just just for shits and giggles. I'm going to also cast big money, big money, no enemies. Okay. Just to get, just because in my goblin 20! logic, 20! A, little, a natural 20? twenty. Twenty three altogether. It's a golden snitch, man. <laughs> Don't fuck with the golden snitch. So, you take this tiny goblin. I'm ready. Lick, lick your grimy finger. Feel the wind. Point. Which I make, I'm making Sir Ruth style. <laughs> and shot put. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Sizzler. Arcs <laughs> forward <laughs> much farther than you expected. Overward. You see in the distance. Uh, rope not attached, you by the way. No, no, no rope. No rope. <laughs> Over. It comes up, and you can see. You may or may not be close enough to the ledge. Oh, God! Is it right before you? Um, <laughs> go ahead and make an acrobatics check in the middle of the air to try and maneuver yourself in the air to catch. Hang on, wait, she rolled the golden snitch. Let me roll my golden. Uh, not, not I was about to say, good. that golden snitch never rolls well, though. <laughs> hey, wait, this is just a dexterity? Acrobatics. So acrobatics. Um, uh, 12. 12. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> wait, oh, is what? it song time? Is it song time? What? Is song it? time. Sing your song. <laughs> Sing your song. Now. It's up to you. If you want to let it go, you can sing your song sing and you should go for reroll. Song. I guess it's sing. song time. As I'm soaring in my tiny voice, <laughs> I say, Snizzler, Zazzler, Sizzler, Saz. I browse this goblin once had. My bombs go boom. They never miss. Hi, Homeland Security, because now I'm on the watch list. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny because it's true. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Go ahead and re-roll that acrobatics check. Don't use that die. I'll use this one. Gotta get better. Gotta get. Did it get worse? <laughs> yeah, it is worth the re-rolling. So Piglet, you had this. This isn't your fault. <laughs> Stupid bomb goblin can't catch a ledge. But you like, you cross your arms, look around, and just everyone else understands. <laughs> That it wasn't you. Good, good try, Pendulum. Good I try. Kobe! Boosh! <laughs> into the water below. I uh, hate water! <laughs> he really does. <laughs> no! He didn't know! Did you to make a swim check? I'm fucking terrible at swimming! <laughs> oh god? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh, I rolled a 14 and I uh, have a minus 4. So my swim. So, so ten. ten. So you're treading water and slowly making your way across this 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 giant cistern, about twenty feet below where they are. You get halfway across, just splashing. <laughs> you guys see Snizzler trying to make her way over to where you guys are. <laughs> There's water down there. <laughs> Seriously, you guys. Ooh! Roll another swim check to try and make the other half of the way. <laughs> Come on, Snizzler! Nice. Come on, Snizzler! Um, uh, a 13. 13. You make Dude, your way up to the edge, you're like, oh, and you guys can look down now, and you can just barely see outside of the, uh, your, your, your dark vision here. You see Snizzler approach and is now just treading water at the bottom of the cistern below you. Lower the ropes! Come on! Can I, like, see if I can find purchase on, like, a little rock, like, kind of on, up to the side? Uh, pull yeah, you, you go over and you reach over and you grab a rock and pull on it and pull your weight up and your fingers slip off of it. There is a slick, Liquid just from general grime Drop and. Drop the rope! Drop the rope! Come on! Come I dropped the rope. <laughs> okay, the rope into the water next to you. Grab onto it, and the rest of you guys slowly pull Snizzler back up onto the entranceway. My turn! Not my my turn! <laughs> I want to be thrown next! <laughs> <laughs> my turn! <laughs> I'm going to look at the ceiling. I want to see if there's anywhere we can attach the rope to the ceiling to make it swing. Currently, it is a dome. Like a, a smooth stone dome that then has uh, three openings where the rainwater is pouring uh, into currently and filling the bottom of the cistern. Okay. So the only way up is basically those little stones that we can, uh, that we can see. We can, uh, the only other thing I can think of taking my snizzler hat off for a second, or my grizzneck, uh, as I could potentially mage hand up the rope, but I don't, I don't think I can tie it. I just have to, I can just move it up. Mm. You know what? Oh, oh, no, I'll climb up and tie the rope. All right, everyone else can climb up. We'll catch her if you fall. Yeah. Right, that'll happen. <laughs> I climb up to the grate with the rope. Okay, go ahead and roll climb check. 
<laughs> goblin, hmm. goblin Wild tactic one. Plus. Throw Come goblin on. across <laughs> cistern. Hey, goblin team. tactic two. Team, as you pull yourself up, uh, and it is a slight curvature, oh, so you're like huh. hanging and holding on to it, but in true like I goblin Tom down. Cruise fashion. I love them, but I hate just keeping a stern expression you on know, your Tom face. No, Tom Cruise is a goblin. That's why he's so small. <laughs> Hopping on the sofa. Um, so <laughs> I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. <laughs> As you pull yourself up, tiny goblin feet dangling below, <laughs> keeping your focus, brown tooth. You bring your way across the ceiling, carrying that rope in your grinch. <laughs> you get up to the edge of where the water is currently pouring into the cistern, <laughs> and it's it's moving past, moving past. And you roll another climb check. Try and keep holding. Ooh. Ah. Nine. Nine. Uh, Your fingers are starting to slip. Can, starting I, to can I cast open on the grate and see if it'll maybe lift him up? With yeah, opens? you know what? Uh, for a. Uh, oh, to grab it? Yeah, let's see if we can. Uh, what's, what's the spell? This is open? Open. I just like to take this moment to say that Brown Tooth is clearly the coolest goblin of all the goblins. <laughs> no, no. He transcends I've space and time. <laughs> And climbed a slippery wall with a rope in his mouth. Almost climbed. <laughs> the rest of us are total degenerates. I'm just yeah, throwing. No, I just need to. It's a purple uh, As right. long as there's no resistance to open it. Yeah, there's there's no resistance to it. Uh, as you're like slipping, slipping, all of a sudden <laughs> uh, the, the grate that contains the water opens and actually like slams into your side, but you <clears> manage <throat> to catch onto it. it. Knocks the wind out of you, but you manage to hold on the edge. Uh, and this. Take your breath, and you realize these. This is first off holding your weight. Second, there's a number of cross iron bars that are all welded oh. together. That would be a good place to probably tie the rope on. Oh man, I, I think I will tie the rope to the things that would make a good place to tie the rope. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, right. I save your life, you two, twice. <laughs> well, you know what? All right, this, more, now we're now we've got one. Wait. We've got we got one left. One which left. Means, which means I owe you a bird. Birdie Next. bird, 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 bird. Bird for you, bird for me, two birds for you, and one bird for me. Smash it, in it, turn it in a stew, stick it in your face, and you love, and I love you. Oh. I love that song. He's got many songs. Very impressive. So good. Very impressive. As you finish tying the rope, helping each person up, each of you manage to climb, uh, having it tossed back to where you go. It takes you a while to get it going. But you do manage to. Uh, we have now been on this in, quest for five. Days. In my head, it's it's, it's it's all Henson puppets in my head, and it's adorable. I can watch this. <laughs> it's like Fraggle Rock. I'm just there. You know? <laughs> no, we the, other, the other goblin crew has already made it. They've got the spell on their back. That's just what's already happened in my head. I'll be disappointed yeah. if that's not what happened. And, and, and climbing up the side of the grate, however, going on the other side, you are now fighting against the uh, the torrent of water. So I need each of you to make a climb check. Okay. Overall. We're all doing this? Yeah, yeah. We don't have to. You can stay back in the no, sewage. No, I feel oh, wait for, the, wait for the fire to come. Do I, do I have any? 14. 14. Oh my god. 16. Be rude and reach Nine. Grab a sushi. Okay. Uh, Three. I'm so rude. I'm so rude. I'm so rude. I'm so rude. What, what do you have, Grizzly? Two. Mm -hmm. Two? Okay. That's not crazy. Um, so. Uh, I'm, oh, oh. I'm uh, Who do we have to save now? <laughs> it. I, We'll say for the sake of, of brevity here, uh, an additional hour or so is spent <laughs> perpetually retrieving your allies who keep getting all the way up in the, <laughs> <laughs> in the water. <laughs> um, yeah! But you have to admire the tenacity. Uh, <laughs> I drink everything in my flask at this point. Okay, so, can, like, keep, so you, you get your key point going, yeah. Just gotta keep drinking. All right. Um, <laughs> okay, eventually okay. you guys make your way up past the the flowing of water, which has slowed now. Uh, and that's probably the how well, you're able to do it. Um, the, the, Someone upstairs suddenly jiggled the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> make your way up into an upper sewage system, and uh, you guys crawl through, which is a much smaller series of pipes, uh, to the point where you, as goblins, still have to crawl to make your way through. Um, the sludge is thicker here, and a little bit of rain is pouring through. You manage to kind of keep between uh, your arms and legs. Eventually, you find your way into the bottom of some sort of a chamber that is just filled with apparently human waste. Yes. We, right. We found the, uh, we found the hot spot. <laughs> Nice. The blue poop has to be here. The blue poop. I, All right, everyone look for blue poop. poop. I take the poop and I start kind of like making like a, a ball out of it, and then I I light it to see how flammable it is. 
Okay. Uh, like the this, is all, this, is, this is totally logical. If I it were church this. people, they drink a lot, so it should light up. Yeah, but I'm thinking, you know. Like the, the finest money, of the candles. Uh, it does catch fire and begins to, begins to, to burn slowly. Uh, it's not dry enough to to uh, to catch. To, we're having this conversation. No, I'm really, I'm really excited that this is a thing that's happening right now. Uh, it would need to be suitably dried out to work as proper fuel, but it, you know, it. it lots of alcohol, lots of drugs. Yeah, I, I start kind of packaging up some of the. Poop. I look. All for, right. I look for an. Uh, a, it's any sort of egress. Right. Uh, make a perception check. Same. All right. Oh. Why not? I'll do it too. 16. Mm-hmm. Eight. 18. 18, all right. Uh, while, you, while you're collecting your your filthy prize, um, we have both Piglet and Grisnack. You guys look up and notice that there is, uh, what appears to be a, a, a wooden or stone ceiling, mm. but a singular opening above you, like a, like a circular hole. First, uh, first, I would like to listen to see if there's any stinky, stupid humans upstairs. Um, make a perception check. Stinky, stupid humans. Uh, eight. I love that okay. game. Stinky, uh, stupid humans. <laughs> stinky, stupid humans. They're so dumb. Stinky, stupid humans. You hear, but they're fun to kill. <laughs> you listen and you hear the, the muffled noises of what appears to be conversation as well. Oh. Um, it sounds like there are uh, a few different voices, though they're behind a couple of, of walls. So they're not straight are. above us. No. Uh, I'm going to cast open again on that on that opening. Okay. Uh, you cast open. Uh, the opening is open. <laughs> <laughs> so the spell is a success. <laughs> um, yes. However, I will climb up through the poop chute. Okay. okay. As as you pull yourself up out of it. In a, in a wonderful medieval version of the Ghoulies VHS cover, um, you pull yourself out of some deep cut. <laughs> deep cut. Wow, we went back to that. Back. Oh, oh man, you couldn't go near toilets for years because of that that movie cover at the VHS store. I stick my head up and I lurk through the toilet seats and then I just go and knock a huge chunk of poop out of my there you nostril. Go. Uh, glancing ahead, your open spell missed, uh, but did hit the front of the outhouse, which is currently swung open in the midday, uh, facing what appears to be the in the uh, window leading into the tavern that you guys nearly entered oh. beforehand. Um, Close. <laughs> Close is shut. Um, <laughs> however, you, it does appear to be nestled in an alleyway on the outside of it. It's a very thin oh. opening. You didn't see any people actually in the alley. You just saw the outside of a window and it appears to be a street thoroughfare. Um, mm. Where well, are we? We're outside now. We seem to be in what the um, humans used to Get rid of all their precious waste. We're inside an outhouse. Is we're in, this but that's, we're all, that we're, sounds sort of oxide. <laughs> yeah, we're we're in we're in one of those redundant human cubes in which humans go to poop inside of instead of just doing it where they sleep, which is <laughs> way more practical and warmer. Wait, guys. And warmer. Those church things. Isn't there like a symbol that people you like a like a circle or like? Well, I say, I say we, I say we get Brown Tooth up here, and he can go scout it out, right, Brown Tooth? Uh, I'm gonna climb up too. If it keeps you from blowing things up and you setting things on fire, right? I climb up. I'm no longer yeah. going in front and anymore. Go ever. out the outhouse to into the to stealthily move into the street. Alrighty. So uh, as you wait, 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 I'm also going to cast um, Prenumbra on him. Okay. So. Number. It just basically puts a permanent shadow on him. Yep. Oh, all right. I thought, um, I thought it just gave me a number from before. <laughs> <laughs> and go ahead and roll a stealth check if you could. Uh, Makes it so that even even oh light God. spells Jesus. Uh, make him still look uh, like he's covered in shadow. All right. As you stumble into the shady alley, looking about, uh, you glance over the side of the window real fast into the tavern. You do see there are probably a dozen patrons in there. Um, uh, some drinks being served, a guard at the door on the inside. However, looking to your left, there the alleyway spills out into a main street thoroughfare. You can see people walking by, families with children. Uh, there's a general air of <laughs> the general air of, of jovial energy to it, and some people wearing like flower crowns on their heads. Um, you can see carts being put along the street. Uh, it seems like the festival that you were told of, this so terrible much, human festival, so is in full festival. swing. Um, go ahead and make a survival check. 16. Plus survival. Oh, yeah, Plus six, six, 16. 16. You come out to the edge of the, of the uh, alleyway, 
glance about, first thing you notice is the sun in the sky. You were like, that's eh, probably midday-ish. No, no, it's pushing towards sunset now. You probably have another hour of sunlight. So you don't know how much longer this festival is going to be going. Um, you spend quite a while getting here and wandering the sewers. <laughs> um, As per typical goblin fashion. Indeed. However, you do see. Running on GP time. <laughs> you do see that. Every, you notice that everyone is walking in a certain direction, and uh, one, there are a number of of carts that are going by. Mm. There are sections uh, like uh, currently. Unmanned closed carts that contain, uh, you know, that, that would be used to sell fruit and and fish. Uh, this being Port Town, fish is a, is a big uh, export here. Fish. And the 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 alleyways that you came out of, there is a second alleyway that offshoots from where the outhouse is that goes between the buildings off the main thoroughfare. So this is oh. your, this is what you're able to gauge in your time out here. Damn so seagulls, I hate. <laughs> hate seagulls. Get down here, it's so gamey. Um, I go back and tell them what I've seen. Well, so everybody's going that way. We should probably go that way. That way. That way. You know, about, maybe if we um get on each other's shoulders with a big coat, we could look like, cool. We could look like people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll look like people's. Or we'll like, like, oh, go for a big coat. We could get in. We can get yeah. one of the, in one of the fish carts. <clears throat> 14. 14. You glance over the window and you look inside, and one of the bar patrons you can see sitting by the bar is this kind of rotund looking gentleman <laughs> yes. in his late 40s. You know, this? Bald, uh, bald, bald, and bald, Ashley was shit. <laughs> <laughs> balding hair, kind of, you know, a double chin, lean forward in the bar looking like he's ready to pass out from the amount of alcohol that he's been drinking. Uh, he's in the inside of the tavern, though, but he does have a very long coat that seems to drape past we the bar. We are totally we gotta doing do it. this. We yes. gotta do okay. it. Let's do it. There's no alternative. <laughs> Between all of us, will be answer. exactly will be. But actually, there is an alternative. There's that little alleyway. No right. alternative. Right. This is what we're doing. We just oh. need two goblins. How many goblins. patrons are there? Do, we, do I get to know from uh, the perception check? Yeah, when glancing in there, you see probably close to ten patrons all together. I people. look around. Do I see anything that looks like a, like a children's clothing store? Because maybe like two of us can be a child, and three of us can be oh, an no, adult. No, no. If, you if, know, if each one of us is a leg, and we're three goblins tall, oh, that's, that's six feet. Okay, yeah, no, you're right. How you're right. Get in here and get look for a cow costume. I'll put right, a perception yeah, yeah, yeah. check for a cow costume. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll cast uh, Penumbra on you, so at least you'll be in shadow. Okay. You know. And then I could still. Th your stealth is insane, actually. He's plus twenty stealth. I've got, I've got very high stealth too, so I'm going to come in with this as you well. You guys should go in and get the coat. Yeah, I'll go in too. Go, All right, go. Go. We're, 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 we're going to sneak in to get so, the coat. No I'll stand guard and watch outside the window. Yeah. Do I, I still have my penumbra, right? Penumbra. 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 All right. Penumbra. So, penumbra. Uh, you do not have penumbra because you cast it on her, right? Or is, is it like a once in a time thing? Like or a, can you do it Oh, that's a good question. Um, it's actually, shit, it's in the ultimate magic book. Yeah, we'll save for the time being. Sure, it affects both of you. It's fine. Okay. All right, so you guys, you know, using the shadows around you, and it is getting kind of late in the angle of the sun, shadows are not too hard to find, but you guys roll stealth checks, all three of you, as you make your way uh, along the side, darting between barrels and trying to find a way into the tavern uh, from, from the, the window, other than the front door. 30. Nice. 31. 33. Whew. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> just <laughs> ducking behind every single possible uh, piece of, of, of you know, discarded <laughs> material, empty crates and boxes, bales that are available. You jump thing. at certain times, following the lead of Brown Tooth. You manage to find your way through the thoroughfare to what appears to be an entrance to the kitchen on the side of this tavern. Uh, the door is partially ajar, and you look in, and there is one person manning in the kitchen. You can see this this, this poor older woman uh, uh, who is just in the process of running around with four things burning, and is like, "Hi, hey, hey, it's too many. I hate festivals. <laughs> Coming!" And she's just she's not even paying attention to the door right now. You guys. So we could stealth by her too. You can try, yeah. Well, we could kill her. Uh, look, I know nope, I'm a stop. goblin. I love human blood, but she look. She's all trying right, her best. All right. You know. <laughs> she seems largely distracted. You guys, with your current stealth, not an issue. You make your way through the kitchen, uh, unnoticed. You make your way into the tavern uh, proper, and you can see there are a handful of patrons around the table playing cards. They're kind of talking to each other. You hear a couple things. One person's like, "All this stupid tradition. I'm just going to stay here and drink until I care." And takes a big old sip. Uh, somebody on the other side of the table goes like, "Speeches, speeches every year. Speeches, speeches, speeches." Father Xantis has shown that religion has no sense of brevity. <laughs> 
Uh, and you see this other guy at uh, the far end table uh, kind of gets up and slaps his, what about you, Zed? And slaps the shoulder of the guy who has the large coat on, who's kind of leaning forward. He goes, oh, well, at least some meals were good. I'm probably going to skip out on the consecration. I've no stomach for prayer these days. And just face down on the bar right there. And he goes, oh, it said, that'll be me in an hour. He goes and sits down at the table. And currently, there is just the barkeep at the bar who's close. Everyone else is at that table now at the card game. And Zed is passed out at the bar. What are you going to do? Guys, what was the name of that dude we were supposed to find? It was Zem Zop, something with a Z, but two, two, two parts. It's not, it's not him. It's not him? He's not no, wearing he's not blue. Him. No, he's not wearing blue. He's wearing like, like, like a dark, muddy brown color. Well, let's steal his coat. We steal his coat. <laughs> All right, uh, the three of you guys going now into this tavern area. Go ahead and roll stealth again. Two, 20. one, five. I cannot roll perception for NPCs today at all. 34. 37. You guys <laughs> dart under one table. Wait for a moment. Barmaid walks by. Dart on another table. You're like chaining your way across this room between these men, eventually finding your way right to the outside of this passed out Zed. His arm kind of just drifts and hangs uh, loosely to his side. You can see his body is kind of half against the bar and probably is a good two minutes from slumping directly onto the ground off his stool. How do we steal his, what would we Should have we to wait roll? For him to we, the, we, the barkeep we, is is like kind of like, oh. you okay, Zed? Kind of pokes him a little bit. Yeah. Oh, we, <laughs> oh, he's all right. <laughs> Goes back to cleaning a mug. Maybe one of us should distract the barkeep while the other two grab the coat. Mm. Make noise in the corner or something. We're still pretty much outside, right? Yeah, you're just kind of waiting. Um. I just keep casting open and close <laughs> on the outhouse door over and. <laughs> does he? Does oh, does Zev does, does, does have something. anything anything uh, on his person other than the coat? Does he have anything? Uh, you can only really see the coat on him right now. Cause it's a we long. Can throw like, yeah, we'll coat. throw something. We throw something to the other side of the bar. Break some glasses, really. Just what do you throw? I'm gonna grab one of my throw little glasses. goblin jag stars. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to pop one of the bottles on the shelf. I assume there's a shelf of bottles. There is a shelf of bottles. I'm going to pop one on the opposite side of us to try and knock it over. Okay, so Mezeg, you pull out your Goblin Jag Star, which is essentially the equivalent of a shuriken, but it's carved out of just pieces of odd me rusted metal that have been kind of tied together. It's more of just a cluster of broken, you know, whatever you found from a wagon wheel that was busted weeks ago, but you That's throw it as, as a ranged weapon. Go ahead and roll an attack. Uh, that's, uh, 20. 20. A bottle shatters and sprays across the back of the barkeep. It's like, hey, what the hell was that? Grab it, grab it, grab it. Shit. And he sees, like, currently distracted. Um, you guys, uh, met the three of you together, go ahead and make sleight of hand checks right now as you all rush up to try and pull this off. Where's sleight of hand? Oh, this is, uh, this is probably me. Sorry. It's in there. Hmm? Should be under sense motive. Oh, we don't have it. We don't have it. I have it. Oh, so so you guys, because you guys aren't trained in it. Yeah, so this is going to be just trained. a basic roll, adding your dexterity modifier. Oh, okay. Uh, so eleven then. Okay. Twenty-eight. Nineteen. Okay, you're all above a ten with two high rolls. That's good. <laughs> so with that, you all leap up real fast, grab his coat, and <laughs> just pull it off of him before anyone seems to notice. I want to quickly. I want to um, quickly see if he's got anything on his belt, like a pouch or anything like that. Uh, <laughs> you, you glance, and there is a belt pouch there. I want to make a. I want to make a stab at just grabbing and ripping it roll, roll another. Don't get check. <laughs> You're goblins, of course. Be uh, what am I rolling? Uh, this is another sleight of hand. Oh, 15. 15. Okay. You you snatch it, and all of a sudden you hear a voice from the from the front door go, "Hey, hey, what's that? I saw some. Is this someone trying to steal from Zed?" And you you hear footsteps as somebody begins yeah, walking greedy. over to go, where go, he go, was go, right go, now. Go, 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 go. Uh, we we run. You guys run. All right, oh, make. Kitchen. make run. Make Next stealth checks, guys. We have the coat, though, right? Come on, big You have the coat with you, yeah. No whammies. Oh, no! No! 40. 15. 15? Uh, uh, 28, 20, 34. 34, okay. You guys run, and as you're running, Piglet, you're running behind them, hiding in the back of the coat, and poof, you slam your head at the bottom of the table, putting a big old nut on it. It happens to be the table uh, where the card game was being played. All the, all the cards go, 
Sh all the all the coins just kind of scatter into the air, and all the guys go, "Whoa, what the hell is that?" And they see as this coat kind of scampers off into the kitchen and on its own. You guys hear <laughs> you guys hear voices go, "Um, did you see that?" It's right in the kitchen. Come on! And you hear the, you hear the sound of, of chairs scooting as all of a sudden people are beginning to stand up and rush towards the kitchen. Okay, while we're running, yes. I'm going to take my jar of puke and pour it out on the ground behind us like a, like a, like a mud slip. Yeah, I have puke too. I have puke too. <laughs> the two of you guys running at you with one, like you're holding the knot on your head. You pull the jar and you pour it out and you spill this this a slick mass of, of, of <laughs> goblin vomit, whatever else liquid you managed to put inside there. As you dart through the kitchen, the uh, the, <laughs> the cook goes, "Your food's ready!" What in the? And then sees you guys dart out the door uh, as all the rest of the crowd comes in. And okay, uh, two of them whoop, and fall on their backs. And immediately there, a third man steps over and follows you into the alleyway. Uh, the, the the cook's like, "You can't be in here! What are you doing?" Uh, as the door slams, you guys make your way to the alley. You see the three of them rush out, <laughs> holding the the coat. What? What's did, going did, on? Did it go? Run! 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 As as the door opens again and you see this 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 you know, breastplate adorned one of the guards of the city who is essentially the bouncer of this place rushes out blade drawn helmet kind of half cocked on his face where it just doesn't fit right and like one eye looks higher than the other and he goes you as smoke just fills this entire alleyway <laughs> he begins coughing. out of the cloud before the cloud goes too thick I go okay. <laughs> We should go in the outhouse and assemble our Mary Kate and Ashley situation. Okay, okay, let's do it. And then leave. Oh, we, we should probably not do it in the we, alley. We, 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 I was about to say we can run all the way around the alley yeah. and get away yeah, from Let's this, get all the way down the alley. Okay. You guys rush out of the alleyway. Um, you, you get out of the fog. You manage to dart off to the side and wait for a little bit. You hear that guard kind of wander off and start shouting and vanishes in the distance. And after a few moments of waiting, you're pretty certain he hasn't been able to keep up with your trail because you're that stealthy. Um, so you're going to you go to yeah. do this? Who wants to be the head? What's that's in the, the pouch? Uh, that's the that important thing. Because <laughs> uh, we all have goblin heads. You know what it is? You know what it is? I, I, have, a, I have a 17 in charisma. I'm not, yeah, that's I'm what not, I, yeah. I like talking You have 17 too? No, 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 but whoever has the highest charisma should definitely be the head. Grisnak the Great will be the head. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best goblin Voltron ever. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, fellow human. <laughs> Aren't you having a wonderful human so day? Today? High, high strength at the bottom. I've got a high oh, deck. Oh, you've got high strength. Well, we've got the high deck, so we should, one of you should be the middle. So we'll you be, form we'll the legs. 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 And you <laughs> form the torso. <laughs> okay. And I will form the head, and together we will shall be goblin. I've been doing a lot of crunches, so I feel pretty good about being the. What's core. in the pouch? <laughs> All right. Uh, in the pouch, you find uh, about eight gold pieces, uh -huh. a small snuff box. <laughs> <laughs> and I eat. Them. I eat all the snuff. Okay. <laughs> You're flying. <laughs> what did you eat? What did all you the eat? Snuff. The entire Roll snuff. Roll a will box. saving throw. Um. That's uh. Where's my will saving throw? That's uh. There it is. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. The roll gets a little funny for a bit, and you feel exhilarated, <laughs> though a little unfocused. And the what normally is the goblin ADHD is now in hyperdrive right now, and you're just kind of. All right. Everywhere. Um, all right. Shiny, so, shiny, shiny, so we shiny. have we have uh, Grisnak as the head. Grisnak forms the head. All right. We are the middle. You guys are the middle. We're the legs. We're the legs. You guys are the legs. All right. <laughs> and with that, you stand up. <laughs> Coat goes on, <laughs> snapping it shut. Oh, oh! I, have I give my... Grisnak my pre my pretty hat. Oh, oh yeah. uh, go, go. okay. <laughs> I have my um. That's I actually have a wizard's hat. Like oh, I have like a goblin wizard's hat. All right, that's, so you keep that's, that's, Can you just put it on top to like humor me? Uh, <laughs> I will put, why don't you put it under one of our arms so it looks like we're carrying a helmet? All right. There he is. Because it probably would be, it'll probably get away more with a wizard hat than we will. Than <laughs> oh, you <laughs> think? <laughs> All right. So. All right. So where are you guys going? Because my, my original. We're, we're going, going towards the, where the people were going. Okay. But down yeah, the. Because uh, uh, was the alleyway parallel to the main street? Uh, it was, yeah. So you kind of follow yeah, that along. Head down the alleyway. Great. Um, uh, look at <clears throat> the sky is cleared, by the way. Like Vincent D'Onofrio. Right. Yes, yeah, in the middle of the Right. Okay. So, as you. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. Um, Hello! Right. Morning! So, as, you, as, as you guys trudge down the alleyway, uh, the sky is clear now. Uh, you know, most of the upper area is dry, other than a few rain barrels that have caught a lot of water in the side of this alleyway as you move along. 
Um, you can hear the music in the distance. You can hear uh, the the laughter of children. You can hear people playing. Um, it sounds like this this festival is in, in in heavy swing. And you come to the end of the alleyway into what appears to be uh, an open uh, town square, a main open thoroughfare with large tents that are erected, with large carts, uh, people barking for food, and, and there are different little carnival games set up uh, throughout this area. What you do notice amongst the, the various buildings and, uh, and houses is a large stone cathedral that looms over this, this entire area. In front of this cathedral, there is a raised platform uh, where some of the band is playing currently, where the music's coming from. Um, you can see just people all around this area now just talking and families laughing. And you can see there are small, uh, uh, it looks like poles that are erected that are just covered in flower wreaths that are hung around it. Uh, Sounds gay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually quite quite I happy am, and jovial. I'm I'm uh, never been so disgusted in my entire life. <laughs> uh, I poke I poke my legs and my torso to move them forward so that we can get closer to uh, the stone. Does it look like the, the, the there's a speech that's going to be starting soon? Uh, people are gathered towards the center of this area around that. I would like to motion my 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 torso and my legs to be on the outer edge of the front couple of lines of the of the group. Okay. Look and see if there's anyone in the, anybody wearing blue. Yeah, look, look for the blue poo. Blue, blue. Right, I so. see silver, I see brown, <laughs> which is nice. I see red. I what see about red. blue? I don't care about the other colors. Uh, I see purple. You mean yellow? No, blue! See, no. Look for the guy in the blue. I see a blue sky. As this is happening, a uh, a, a drunk man, 30-something, kind of a, a red chin-strap beard and, and long hair pulled into a top knot, has a tankard in front of him and kind of, <laughs> uh, uh, Happy Autumn's thing. Uh, <laughs> Be out of sync. <laughs> Make a bluff check. Oh, I'm so good at bluff. Fifteen. <laughs> he goes. I think you need more of this than all, dude. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, <laughs> and he pats uh, you on the back with a hefty <laughs> arm. Uh, I need. I pour you. For the two guys that are that are holding the legs right now, I need you to both make strength checks. Okay. Uh, I pour more. Oh God. Twenty. Five. Five. One leg whoa, goes forward, <laughs> and you stumble and take a knee, like you're kneeling in the middle oh. of the street. And and the man who held you the well, drink kids, goes. I want to talk to you about safe sex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reflecting upon the glory that is this most Stop day. talking. <laughs> oh, oh, you're one of them. You're one of them church types. Never mind. The guy just stumbles off. Uh, at this point, you see the crowd starting to hush a little and gather towards the stage. Get, get, up. get your back up. Uh, make a perception check, okay. if you could, Grisnak. Uh, okay. Oh, that was very that was close. Bad. Seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, glancing up, you can see now. Uh, I tried not to put my little hand up, like put it back down. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, uh, the people that are the people that are gathering towards the central platform area, you can see a person ascending the steps on the side. What you see is a man dressed in simple but elegant blue robes that walk from the cathedral, who's standing now at a podium in the center of this. As people begin to kind of hush, some yell like oh, yeah, towards him. Uh, he has short brown hair and a well-kept beard that show a social station uh, amongst the townspeople, although his demeanor is very humble. Um, but some people are paying attention to him, some people are looking around. Some people are still yelling and playing games. He seems to be kind of a little frustrated that no one's paying attention. Blue alert! <laughs> blue alert! We have a code blue! Uh, Moving towards it! What right. do you do? Does, does, he have a, does he have a stone? Can I see the stone at all? Uh, you do not see a stone. Uh, however, as you guys begin to make your way through the crowd and everyone's kind of paying attention to various things in the area, he reaches into the pocket of his robe and pulls out what looks to be a small kind of uh, cast iron pellet about that large, and he takes it, looks around, and throws it to the top of this platform as it as it hits the woodwork. You hear a sudden. It causes this echo of thunder throughout the entirety of this area, and everyone stops and goes. Oh, he's got a boom cue. He got boom boom rock. He's got a boom boom rock. Uh, is you that the rock we want? No, it's not the rock, but I like that's that. That's the rock we want. No, it's not. It's not. That's just a boom boom rock, guys. You've seen boom boom rocks. We all know. Have we seen these boom, before? Boom you have not. 
<laughs> okay, well, Riznak likes to think that he's yeah. seen a you, Boom Boom you Rock think before. You've seen boom boom rock. Because he's the smartest, smartest and the smart. greatest Riznak. Is uh, there a way to confirm whether or not that's the rock that? Uh, well, I, actually, for you, uh, go ahead and roll a wisdom check. <laughs> oh, Grisnak, the barely alive. <laughs> Twenty-one. Oh. You realize at this moment, as you're instructing the rest of the goblins, that, that can't possibly be the stone because that's a boom boom rock. <laughs> you realize, holy shit, this entire journey was to retrieve a boom boom rock. Guys, <laughs> guys. Goffler wants us to get boom boom rocks. <laughs> Why does she want us to get boom? Because they're boom boom rocks. Well, we have boom boom rocks back home. Oh, suddenly, I can make boom boom rocks. You hear okay. screams. <laughs> you hear dogs starting to bark in the distance, and you see the glow of flames over across the way. As two streets, three streets away, you see fire beginning to glow and plumes of smoke build up. Fire. People begin to run, and chaos breaks Whoops. in the crowd as people begin looking about, screaming, What? What's going on? We're under attack! Goblins are here! Oh! Right, so we're gonna dis- we're gonna dis- I think we're gonna- we're gonna Goblin. lurch towards- uh, Goblon is going to lurch forward, and I'm gonna try to see- does he have a- like a pouch of Boom Boom Rocks? Or anything like that? Uh, no, all you see is the single stone just rolling off the top of the stage. <gasps> Mage Hand. Okay, you mage hand and the stone kind of stops there in place as you begin walking towards it. Okay. Uh, the crowd now is scattering and running away as people are just trying to flee from this distant flame and you hear another explosion in the distance as a, a section of burning wood flips. Someone making a really big Hands by you. Someone's doing big burbers. I want to meet that person. Do you no, do you know it's- Had anything to do with the fire? Uh, it, I don't think it's the fire that yeah. I set in the tavern. Oh, wait, guys, 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 remember there's other goblins here. <gasps> remember, it's, a, it's, 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 oh, it's our seventh. Dirty Please don't get the rock. Earth. Too many toes. Get that rock. Get the rock. Is anyone, wait, I'll ask you, is anyone watching us? I think everyone's pretty distracted by the big broom brooms. Here, I can help clear this area out too. I light another little firecracker and throw it down next to us, kind of scare, scare okay. the crowd. So as he throws in the firecracker, you guys kind of stumble forward, foot by foot. Why don't you make another bluff check? Okay. Um, and I want both the legs. I need both of you guys oh, to, oh, oh. <laughs> to make another strength check to try and get there Ooh. quickly. Okay. Uh, natural 20, which puts me to a 27. Okay. Nine? 10. Okay, so as you're, as you're rushing forward, Ooh. you can see uh, the crowd look at you, so turn and be like, no, don't go that way, the goblins are that way, and they're actually genuinely trying to save you. I will save us from this goblin scum. And as you say that, the firecracker goes off behind, everyone looks around distracted as both of your legs tumble forward, and you tumble forward. The whole coat unravels as what was once a single entity rolls into five goblin balls that all just boom, 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 across the stonework, slamming into the base of this platform. You guys can hear the distant, the distant screams of goblins. You know, two or three streets over where the main battle's happening. All the guards have moved in that direction. This open uh, uh, thoroughfare is mostly empty of all people at this time. Awesome. You glance over and can see the stone is just in the center of kind of a light piece of mud that hasn't fully dried from the earlier storm. I go to get the stone. Okay, you rush forward, grab the stone, put it in your hand. At this point, you hear a voice say, "Halt! You will walk no further, foul creature." Seven Ray's vengeance will end your existence. You all glance over to the left of you and you see a woman dressed in gold armor and white blue cloth, clutching a scimitar in one hand and a small gold statue of a winged woman in the other. As she glares at you, you hear a voice behind her say, Ah, oh, come on, Kyra, I don't think we'll let you have all the fun to yourself. And you see walking up behind her, a small halfling man grinning with a shaggy blonde hair saunters up, pulling out a flute behind him. A human in heavy armor. His long, brown, unkept hair around his shoulders draws two blades and scowls. Goblins, of course. He readies himself as a, suddenly a shield appears before him. Uh, as another heavily armored figure steps in front of the lot, a tall woman wielding a long sword, her hair pulled back tight and her face tense. She goes, behind me, we shall smite them where they stand. Behind all of them, you see an older man with long white hair and a beard hold up a staff and smirk. Well, Sela, I can just destroy them from here. That's fine with me. I need you all to roll initiative. Oh, oh shit. Man. Adventuring party. Damn Urgh. adventuring parties. Ooh, it's a good adventure. 22. 22. Look at all this adventures. Five. Uh, I'm at a 24. 
plenty. All right, hold on just a second. There's no fleeing in D and D, is there? Well, yeah, oh, there's fleeing. Like, oh, 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 watch! <laughs> you, <laughs> if you, you can do anything run. you like, if you've you, never you, seen goblins run before, watch. You're gonna goblins. see some hellacious no, fleeing right, right I'm, now. I'm not. I'm not above it. No. I'm not. I'm not above it. No, because there's like a, a seven, five, seven, how, a lot of them mm -hmm. with armor and wing and statuary. Got hair. Uh, All right, so we have. Got really big ears, though. Twenty. We're winning. Uh, higher than twenty, anybody? Twenty-four. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Damn! Look at that. All right. We have brown two. Uh, super runaway. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so that's brown tooth. Uh, you had twenty. One. Twenty-one. You had twenty-two. Twenty-two. All right. So we got Sniz. You've got the rock. I've got the rock. I'm glad that we. Run. I'm glad that we were able to keep it. Boom boom rocks. Yeah. Boom, boom, these, rocks. these humans look ready and eager. And there's a part of you that's like, oh man, it would feel good to cut them down. It is up to you what you want to do. Uh, all right, so we have. How many of them all there? Four. There's five of them. Five. Four against five. Those are good goblin numbers. There's five of them. Oh, there's that's five of lie. them? There's five of them. There's five of us. That's bad <laughs> goblin numbers. <laughs> that's very bad goblin numbers. Already. Um, I'm, look, guys. You know I'm all for smashing Run! stuff. Run! All right, 15, uh, 10, 20 to 15, anybody? 10 to 15? Uh, sorry, 20 to 15. Nope, all right. All right. I'm all for smashing stuff, uh, this but time I smashed Grisnet, a wall. You're on your own. I smashed a grate. I'm uh, down to one. 15 to 10? Yeah, you, you smashed 15 one. to 10. 15 to 10, no. Nope. All right, 10 to five? Eight. Five. Five. Oh. Okay. Right. I like the random sounds of sheep being tortured. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. music running out. Thursday night. Yeah. It's a nice Sunday night right there. All righty. So top of the round, as all of them kind of charge into the square and the rest is scattered, you guys manage to uh, bring this in here. Uh, Brown tooth, you're up first. I look for some place to hide and head there as quickly as possible. Okay, so you, uh, closest place to hide here would probably be behind this cart or behind the platform. Because wh where are the uh, attacking people? They're right here. Ah, there they are. Um, I get behind the platform. All right, so you duck around here. And go ahead and roll a stealth check. But you go ahead and just hide in the shadows. Thirteen. All right. Thirteen. Thirty. Thirty. Okay. You duck underneath, and you're like underneath the platform now, and keeping an eye on what's happening at this point. All right. Is that your turn? Can I see them? You can see them. Yes, that's my turn. Okay. Uh, Snizzler, yeah. your turn. All right. Uh, first, I'm gonna take out a pipe bomb, and I'm gonna throw it right at. That one. Right there. All right. He <laughs> is 25 feet away. Do you want to get a little closer to do it? I move up one square, Whoop. and then I hit him. Love it. <laughs> Wolf an attack. Goblin pipe bombs. 18. 18 hits. Nice. Because it is a it is a uh, it is a touch attack, correct? It's a touch attack. attack. No, you yep. couldn't have stealth. Though. All right, so. Right. It's actually you on fire right now. No, you have to, your and is right. everyone in a 10 foot radius must make a reflex save. Indeed. Uh, what's the DC on that? 50, uh, 14. 14. Like that. Okay. that is yeah, what is your failure. Your uh, success. Yeah, so you get extra for, so it's Success. All right, so uh, three damage, three damage, and six damage. Oh, nice. Plus the main dude. Takes uh, a uh, t 13 damage. Cool. 13 points of damage. Woo! And then can I use the rest of my movement to also run backwards? Uh, sure, yeah. And like towards these things? That's about as far as you can get right there. That's fine. There. Yeah, so you run up. Fling it and dart away as you hear away! behind you as it lands at the foot of the guy with the blades out. He goes, 
just prepares himself for it, goes to guard as it bursts in front of him. You can see the flames coast up, and now the fire is caught to his hair, and his armor is actually burning from whatever goblin liquid, you like napalm-like material you had in there. It's adhered the to him. <laughs> as the fire bursts outward in a 10-foot radius because of your goblin expertise with explosive devices, the flames catch the three other allies of his who all manage to you know, avoid most of the impact, but you do see them scarred and burned a little bit from the side the blast took. The fighters furious as the flames still lick across his torso. That ends your turn. Piglet, you're up. Well, you you lit them on fire, so now I kind of want to smash them, but maybe I should just <laughs> run away. Follow your I'm going to do Piglet. Range attack now. I don't have a range attack. You are an up close and angry. Oh, screw it! I'm going to rage! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you rage, Stop, and who you have a you can you have a, you move forty feet because you're a barbarian, so you can go pretty far. Okay, Where do you how go? close? How up close and personal can I get? Uh, well, you can move. Uh, technically, four. what dude did Marisha just hit real hard? That guy. Oh, can I, how close can I get to him? You can get right up to him. Let's get right up to him. All right, guy. so you just <laughs> rush up, <laughs> hammer in the air. All right, okay. so you, you get one hammer attack on him, Mister. Go, piglet, go. Go, piglet, go, piglet, go, piglet, go, piglet, go, piglet, go, piglet, go, seventeen. Go, go, go. Just go. hits. His armor, his armor class is seventeen. Go ahead and roll damage on that. Go, piglet, go, piglet, go. This is my D10, go. right? Mm -hmm. Yep, D10. Seven plus six. Seven plus six. It's, 15, it's thirteen. Thirteen <laughs> points of damage. Damn. As you rush up on the man that's on fire, you leap in the air <laughs> and plant your goblin skull breaker. Hammer right square in the chest. You can see his armor clink, <laughs> bend inward, and he goes, oh, as the air escapes him with a spatter of blood that crosses your face. It's warm and you take it in. <laughs> as you pull back the hammer, the flames are still burning on him. He's like <coughs> coughing up blood now from the impact. He's already taken a very, very poor round. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that ends your turn? Mm -hmm. All right, so angry, angry piglets up front. Uh, first and foremost, the. Uh, the little halfling bard goes like, uh, what was it? He shouts out uh, to the rest of the group. He goes, Valeros, you okay, bud? All right, let's do this, correct. And he jumps up onto this cart right here and pulls out his flute and begins singing a tribe. He says, and as their foot falls to the ground, the strength and mighty muscles bound, they raise their blades into the sky and cut those goblins high and high. And he begins to sing, he begins to bolster all of his allies in song. Uh, you see all of them begin to kind of rally themselves for the battle, hearing their friend uh, accompanying this, this rousing fight. Uh, that finishes his turn. They all have bonuses to their combat prowess. That's bullshit. Um, the, uh, the paladin here who watched your fr her friend just get pummeled in the chest and set aflame goes, not on my watch, and steps in to you and is going to go ahead and take a swing with her longsword. Paladin who worships uh, cliches, going to use, apparently. Uh, <laughs> would you consider yourself an evil character? I'm just trying to get mine, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'd, uh, probably, yeah. Probably. She's going to go all... ahead and attempt to smite evil as her swift action, and is going to attempt to smite you. That's a natural 20. Oh! I have to confirm to see if it, it uh, that is a 17. What's your armor class? Uh, where is, uh, 19. 19, it does not confirm crit. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Okay. However, uh, you do suffer. Uh, that's five uh, plus three. I think that's gonna go down swinging, guys. So that's eight, ten points of uh, eight points of slashing damage as the blade just strikes into you and a burst of divine energy as you feel uh, your your dark core of your blackened goblin heart all of a sudden burn with radiant divine energy. Uh, mm. That ends her turn. Uh, That's fucking great. born again. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, this uh, this older wizard dude is going to go ahead and look to the one who threw the bomb and goes, Kirostan Fura! And holds aloft his staff. What? And <laughs> <laughs> speak, I don't understand. Speak you English! Speak English. <laughs> you put out what? your giant goblin ear to listen to the strange language. A, a sudden pock of greenish energy forms in the air as an arrow streaks towards you, leaving oh, this trail foul of play, greenish. man, foul play. <laughs> Thought you were trying to tell me something. Uh, what's your armor class? 17. 17, okay. Uh, as this arcane arrow full of acid streaks towards you, you do a goblin cartwheel out of the way and it 
hits instead of barrel behind you. <laughs> 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 It begins to melt the barrel, and you can see now uh, like a, a thick series of berries beginning to spill out onto the thoroughfare. And he goes, "Oh, damn it!" And he goes, "Berries!" He goes ahead and ducks into this alleyway uh, between those buildings there. Ah. Uh, all right, that ends his turn. The the cleric now is going to uh, step up uh, to the center here, holds her holy symbol, and hold uh, from one hand uh, or scimitar in one hand and her holy symbol to the sky, and goes, "Seren Ray." Protect us! And this energy drifts off. Um, uh, all of her allies heal up. No! Uh, Anna. Six. Six? Hit points. All right, I'm going to kill her. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, you have your. Uh, you you also heal six hit points because you're a living creature and you're in the radius, so you ah! heal six. Nice! Yes, yes, yes. Unintended yes. consequence of her circumstance, but. Um, because she's going to see God. Right, guys, just like I... continue to collateral. Yes. Yes. Her God's like yeah, collateral like undamaged. Right, exactly. I like this one spunk. This guy, this guy, good moxie. The fighter is on fire. Uh, is just going to grin and bear the flames because he just wants to take down the one that smashed him with the hammer. He's going to take another one d six fire damage. Go ahead and roll for that. Uh, Five. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. Oh, my damage. hair. Uh, however, he is angrily going to unleash upon you with his long sword and short sword. Uh, that is a. Plus, uh, it's a 13 to hit with his long sword. What's your armor class? 19. You duck out of the way. He goes into sticky with a short sword. That is an 18. Is, is 19. It 19? <laughs> yes! We are, we are hard to hit. I'm gonna live forever! He <laughs> can't seem to find you with his blade as he forever. angrily swings outward. And by um, forever, you mean 30. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, that ends turn. Logan's Chris Knight, your turn. Uh, oh, crap. Um, <laughs> I think I'm gonna give this a shot. Uh, I'm gonna try to get up Kitty Corner to uh, where um, Piglet is, so five feet away, so not within threat range of the group. I because I'm I'm gonna I'm there. Gonna, yeah, one more step towards me. Um, trying to see if that's gonna get Piglet in the way or not. It may if I have the movement. I'll do one more right next to it. Yeah, you have the movement. Okay. Um, and I'm going to to mock the wizard. I'm going to look at him and go, clap, clap, ter, verata, and cast flaming sneeze. Hesu, <laughs> As gouts of flame start just coming out of my nose over and over again. Yeah, go so, grain. Moldy grain, man. Not even once. I know, I got really bad allergies to grain. Moldy grain, especially. <laughs> I, I'm okay with this. <laughs> All right, so, uh, what are the rules you have to make for that one? Um, I have to still make a concentration. Oh, shit. Um, my DC on it is. 13 and I got a 10. So, song time. <laughs> song time. Song time right. for my reroll. <clears throat> so, in the midst of my sneezing cuz I'm not feeling like I'm tickled enough, I I launch into my spring steam. Grisnack, Grisnack, the greatest that there is. Smarter than the stupid ones even when he whiz. Look at them run, look at them hide, let's watch, we'll watch them burn and die. Zergamot will loot the corpse and then we'll take a ride. Ha! Yeah. Alright, now we're rolling. Hope it was better for you than ours have. Oh. Ah! No! I'm never allowed to be a player ever no. again. Oh. Every roll? time we've used our songs to re-roll, it's, it's gotten, gotten worse. worse. What'd you roll? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh no. I will oh. allow you to light myself on fire with my own sneezes. <laughs> not That's sneeze what happened. into the yeah. wind. <laughs> Do not sneeze into the wind. <laughs> it's worse. <laughs> right, is it called fire sneeze or flaming sneeze? It's called fire sneeze. <laughs> All right, so based on the effects of this spell, uh, I need you to go ahead and... Uh, so two rounds I'm doing this continually. Yeah. Oh I just God. keep sneezing for two oh rounds. Yep. Hey, go ahead and roll a reflex save. All right. <clears throat> Big money, no whammies. Seven. Seven. Go ahead and roll two d six points of fire damage as you as you as you glance over at the wizard, kind of wink and give him that thing. And you go to sneeze, and suddenly you catch yourself. Close the mouth. 
Frisnack, Snop Stork signs off, everybody. Oh no, Frisnack! As He's I dead. consume myself in flames. He's dead? And take 10 points That's the good roll you get? That's my good roll. You sneeze yourself to death. So, as you, like, oh, you so much wonka child, and there is a ball of flame that suddenly bursts out of the the nostrils and ears of Grisnak as a smoke just pours out and falls onto the back, uh, unconscious, unconscious, uh, but can't be smoldering at the moment. Oh shit! Uh, that was nuts. <laughs> so uh, just to be clear, that does put me at negative one. Negative one. Yes. All right. So. Yes. Isaac, you're up. It's not going super hot, guys. It's not going super hot. Um, I told you to run. <laughs> there, the, the guy who's on fire, who's not doing well, right? Yes. I'm going to run, screaming at him, and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, uh, and I'm going to throw a morning, a, a, one of my awful stars directly at him as I run straight up to him. Okay. Why so. not run away and throw the star? It's a range. So, so mid run, you throw a star using your, uh, your deadly aim. Uh, I am using my deadly aim. All right. That can't possibly go poorly. No. Uh, that's uh, uh, 19, 18. 18 hits. Go ahead and roll damage with the additional plus two damage from deadly mm -hmm. aim. Uh, I don't have to roll damage. It's an auto, so it's uh, six points of damage. Six points of damage to him. Ah! Oof. All right, so as you rush up, you throw it, it embeds in the side of his throat, and he's like, oh. <laughs> he reaches up and pulls it out, and a gout of blood just goes, and he's like, oh, uh, kind of holding his lungs for one hand. Stupid goblins! Uh, as the flames are still burning around him. Uh, and you move all the way up to. Oh, yeah, I'm straight up in their, in their business. All right. Uh, ending your turn back to the top of the round. Brown Tooth, you're up. Drunken master. <laughs> now, I like you guys. I really do. But super runaway. They have no idea. By the either. way. You have the rock, don't you? You yep. have the rock. Oh, that would be very goblin of you <laughs> to just leave everyone die and be the one that brings the, the boom boom rock back to Gaffy. But he I would be your favorite. Yeah. <laughs> Especially if I were the only one left. <laughs> I might get a drink with dinner. <laughs> um, but first, I am going to shoot my light crossbow. Um, at the, wait, sure. there's a, there's the flaming fella right there. There's the paladin and there's the cleric there. Paladin's closest. That's to That's the me. bard. Oh yeah. <sighs> Should I finish off the big guy? <laughs> he's on fire. I mean, you know. And he's got a he's got a blood coming out from the side of his neck. And uh, also, <laughs> reach all of that can reach you yeah. yeah, you can hit anybody you like. There's a there's a bard. There's a cleric. There's a there's a. And the, the wizard is sort of run he's, off. He's run off. Yeah, he's way off over there right now. Yeah, you could try to just finish off a flame dude. Whereabouts are you, Brown Tooth? Where's he's behind that platform over yonder. Oh, okay, he's the, the far one. one. He's the, yeah, he's the yellow circle. Um, at, at the oh, cleric. Nice, nice. Carpe Canis. On the cleric. All right, go ahead and roll for attack. Seize the dog. <gasps> Ooh, uh, 17 plus 9. That's 9. Right, uh, so. Uh, 25. Yeah, that definitely hits. Go ahead and roll uh, roll damage with additional 2d6 sneak attack damage. Ooh. Do I do them all at once? Yeah, do them all at once. Seven. Seven points of damage to the cleric. All right. The, the bolt strikes the, uh, the back of the cleric's uh, kind of lower torso area, kidney area, and she goes, and almost drops the holy symbol, catching it in middle air. Looks around, uh, go ahead and make a stealth check uh, to see if uh, you manage to remain hidden this round. Nine, uh, 20, 29, no, 26. 26? Uh, she glances around and doesn't know where it came from and is like, <laughs> Six is a really good stealth. Yeah. You want to move and you stay where you are? Stay where I am. All right. Uh, at this point. Stupid goblin. <laughs> go run! Leave! <laughs> okay, then it's your turn, Snizzler. You're up. Hey, uh, you're on deck. Seeing where Brown Tooth is, I'm like, he's got the right idea. Um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna move up like to, to here ish. Alright. Over over one. Yeah. Throw another bomb at the cleric. 
Right there, okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you go ahead and lob it towards the cleric. Go ahead and roll Roll for an attack. Uh, bombs, 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 bombs. Boom, boom, that's not good. That's not good at all. It scatters. You know what? Oh, that's right, it, I, it does technically scatter. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna let it scatter. <laughs> What'd you roll? Um, I rolled a four plus eight, so 12. So t- or sorry, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, 12. 12. Mm, math math is that's, hard. That's gonna miss. Math is hard. All right, so from Let's the front see. of the cleric. It lands right on Grisnak uh, on his eight. unconscious corpse. <laughs> it's going to land right there. Oh, well, perfect. So uh, minimum damage on that is six. So poof, I need a reflex save from Piglet and from Mezek. All right, that's six damage to all of them. Oh, I'm sorry, six or nine. Six, huh? Uh, uh, it is 11. Okay, so you take six damage, six fire damage. 20. You take three points. I take zero, because I have evasion. You have evasion, yep. Fire, fire! And then I continue my movement towards round two. I, Did you say uh, you had like one do, do no, do no, potion? Okay. Do no, okay. I might go down, down, but I'm gonna go down. Well, you know, I mean, like, you're as close right. to a tank as a goblin, yes. <laughs> that's so. true. <laughs> but you're also, your method hit points I went could. up to what your rage score is, to too. Oh, to that's right. <laughs> I'm standing nearby in case. Or oh, whatever it says in front of the Yeah, 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 44. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're, as you're raging, your hit points are up higher. That's, that's right. So I'm actually, I'm not a tank for much because I'm an alchemist. You didn't mind. All right, so end Snizzler's turn. You're up. There's no way I can like take my hammer and go like whoop, and like hit multiple people. No, just <laughs> uh, no. But because you're raging and you're base to base with them, you can attack and bite. and bite someone else. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna attack Flame Dude. Okay. With go, my normal attack. Go ahead and roll with your normal attack. Twenty naturally plus nine. Natural twenty. Golden roll, snitch, motherfucker. Roll again to see if you can confirm critical. So go ahead and roll, roll another d twenty. Piglet MVP. Twelve plus nine. Plus nine. That's a critical hit. Yeah. <laughs> What's the damage multiplier on that? Huh? I should have a multiplier next to the weapon. Times three. All right. <laughs> Go ahead and roll three d ten. Three d ten? Yes. Plus. <laughs> plus oh, you got six. Another, yeah, that's a ten. Okay. Three okay. d ten plus six damage. Oh man, wipe. Oh what? Are the zeros tens? Yeah. Zeros are tens. Oh, zeros are tens? Yeah. <laughs> Twenty one plus six. Twenty six. Okay. How do you want to finish him off? Because. <laughs> You destroyed him. So the man who's on fire in front of you with his two weapons out. Uh, That's the, when you hit? The, the heroic the Valeros. Damn it, I wish I'd gone for the heroic Valeros. Okay. So uh, how do you want to finish him off? He's like. <sighs> I want to uh, knock his Darts. head off with the hammer, and I want it to fall into the lap of his now grieving friend and just spray blood all over them. Okay, the so. The most adjacent friend. Okay. No, the, the bard. I hate the, the bard. The bard? Okay. Yeah. Hit the bard in the head with his, so. with his friend's head. So. You, sw- you swing as the fighter goes to parry your blow, your goblin rage gets you a, a faster speed than you ever expected. As he goes to try and swing it to the side, the hammer just comes straight across in the other direction he wasn't expecting, almost like an unintentional feint. And he goes, his eyes go wide for a second before the hammer just <laughs> And the head gets carried off of his shoulders. It spins backwards, and the bard who's currently singing his song looks up past his friend's head, <laughs> <laughs> towards him, falls onto his feet, he goes, ah! <laughs> uh, Makes con- <laughs> Fails his concentration. Uh, I'll say that the song ends. He has to go ahead and start it again because he just saw his friend's head land at his feet. He goes, Hello! Shoo! <laughs> and you can see, like, there was a genuine horror and, and, and sadness in his face. And I go, Yay! <laughs> you still have a bite attack. And I still have a bite attack. Yes, you do. Um, who's just bite next his corpse. To him? Just bite his corpse. Uh, this is the paladin right there. Okay, so I'll bite the paladin. Go for it, roll for attack. Cleric. Uh, cleric's in the right there. Right there. Oh, right. Is that a six or a nine? Uh, let me see. That's a nine. That's a nine. That's a nine? Okay, so. Uh, Flat end back. 13? 13. Just misses the. Cl- oh, no, no, so this paladin? Yeah, definitely misses the paladin. Okay. Her shield's too big. You go to bite her and she slams the shield <laughs> out and you catch metal instead. Ah! <laughs> she pulls the shield away and you actually scrape tooth marks against the metal, which is impressive for a goblin. And she looks at you and says, You. You foul. Terrible creature. You will pay for what you've done, and you see tears in her eyes. Um, that ends your turn. I go, hey, hey, loser. <laughs> <laughs> Do you move? Uh, I'm just gonna stay there. Okay. <laughs> Maybe that's unwise, <laughs> but I'm just gonna stay there. The bard is too angry to even consider. Uh, no, he's. 
No, he's too angry. He's 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 not going to be able to do his bardic performances this turn. He's too brought with frustration. Nice. Uh, he's instead going to go ahead and cast sleep. Oh shit. Um, oh crap. <laughs> crack knuckle. So, uh, as part of the sleep spell, just to double check what the saves are. I believe it's I believe it's a will save. Fuck. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got sleep. Give me a second here, guys. All right, so. Yes, I need you to make, I need, uh, okay, so I'm actually at 30. I need you to go ahead and make a will saving throw. A will saving throw. You get okay. plus two because you're raging currently. Nice, okay. Um, where is my? Uh, it's on the third, the third uh, square onto the right, that one. Oh, I see, okay. Will be raging, okay. 16? 16? 16. Uh, 19. 19. With that, you look over as the bard ends up kind of singing this incantation in a language you don't understand, and you feel a wave of sudden sleepiness hit you. One of your eyes kind of begins to sag, and then you <laughs> shake it off with anger, you know, foam forming at the corner of your mouth, and the bard goes, <laughs> And they go, <laughs> <laughs> Unaffected by it. Uh, that ends his turn. The paladin uh, is friend is gone, cannot cannot actually do anything that is going to angrily move this way to kind of begin a, a pincer movement and is going to attempt to power attack you. Here. That is a natural 20. Oh no! Uh, see, it confirms the, a natural 18, I'm pretty sure that hits. Okay, so that's a, yeah. All right, so that's a times two on Five. that. You Ooh. take, it's not too bad, rolling a little three for damage on that one and a six, that's nine. Uh, plus three. Take 12 points of damage as the sword just streaks down, cleaving off part of your ear and ends up like embedding it in shoulder. And you just kind of look over, grab the sword, and pull it out and throw her backward. And she's cut off guard by how this tiny thing has so much might. <laughs> nice. Okay, that's not terrible. That ends the paladin's turn there. Uh, we're going to bring us to the, uh, the cleric. All right. Uh, the cleric is going to take some pulls down, though. And how rough this is, circumstantially, is looking over at the bombing one, moves over <laughs> here, turns to you, and goes, "You, you will set nothing more ablaze, creature." I need you to make a will saving throw. Huh? <laughs> what? Natural one again. You, should, you shouldn't even sit next to me. That's <laughs> what I'm just rubbing off. As it's the just... whole person takes effect, your muscles lock up, and you find yourself, as you're reaching for a bomb, <clears throat> and you just can't move. You see a grin across the cleric's face. That's what I thought. Um, and in cleric's turn, uh, the fighter is gone. Boom. Grisnak. Uh, you bleed <laughs> down to negative two. Yeah, negative two. I mean, can I make a constitution yes, check to see can. if I can stabilize? See if you can somehow stabilize, so. So go make a fortitude save. Fortitude save. Oh, 20. 20? Yeah. I'll say for the sake of this, you've managed to stabilize. You're no longer bleeding, but you're just. Okay. You're there. You're not, you're good. All right, so the ending your That's turn. Good. Mezek, you're up. I'm going to run up to the to the cleric who just paralyzed my friend. I'm going to just. Like run straight up, up to him and yep. you actually like her. You, I don't actually know the right pronoun for the cleric. Yeah. No, you you, um, you you actually leap and, and like frog leap over the the raging piglet <laughs> land. And I go ah! and I open palm into the throat to, to try and uh, to try and I'm going to use a, a stunning fist to try and silence her for. Go a, for it. Go for a roll for attack. I don't know what pronoun. All right. Um, that's uh, fifteen. Fifteen hits. She doesn't have a huge armor class. All right. And that's uh, with my quarter staff. Actually, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm doing. I said fist. I'm doing fist. Um, that's um, five points of damage. Five points of damage. And yeah. needs to make a fortitude save. Which stunned. she rolls a five. She does not. She is stunned for a round. Yep. So as you jump over, leap to the ground, and then show you can like <laughs> you know upper fist <laughs> and you can see a tooth go flying. And her helmet kind of gets set off, and she pulls back. She, uh, the, she drops the holy symbol in her hand, which now hangs from a chain, and she kind of grabs at her head, going, 
and is doubled over, unable to really gather her senses right now. She's the only one that can actually do it. Uh, ending your turn there. Yep. Brown Tooth, you're up. Uh, crossbow attack at the Paladin. The Paladin. All right, go for it. Go for the roll attack on that one. Fourteen. You can try and maybe re-roll it with a with a song if you got it. You haven't used your song yet. You haven't used your song yet if you want to. So, all right. Maybe this will be the first time that it gets a better roll. A better roll. Uh, <laughs> yes, this is the one time. There's there's not a lot of. And my life's not at stake, so yeah. what the hell? <laughs> all right. I will sing my song. All right. What's your song, sir? When Brown Tooth's axe lifts up high, someone is about to die. Someone will bleed, lots will get picked, they'll rather avoid direct conflict. I'm Brown Tooth the Rogue! <laughs> Go ahead and re-roll that as you steal yourself, rotten, locking another bolt into the crossbow, you fire. Whoa! Four. <laughs> the songs are cursed. Songs are cursed. Songs are cursed. All of our songs are cursed. Goblin songs are cursed. People hate goblin songs. <laughs> it's worse than K-pop. <laughs> oh, got you a sad trombone for you there. <laughs> I should have. Yep, yep, yep. Hey. Deserving. Man, at least I didn't die. No offense. <laughs> None taken. All right, Although I so, should. <laughs> as, as the crossbow bolt just <laughs> goes off somewhere into the skyline, you're realizing perhaps. Perhaps the, dis perhaps the distance game isn't working for you. You might need to get up close and personal if you're going to actually land an attack here. Uh, are you going to stay where you are? Uh, I'm there. Is that the church that way? The church is up here. This is the steps of the church. You've got such a good van. Well, not helping. Not helping. Uh, I move over to the edge of the podium. Oh, 17k. Edge of here? Yeah. All right. Mm. Yeah, go ahead and roll, see if you main stealth. It's fire. Chris Knight. 30. All right. Uh, ending your turn brings it to Snizzler. You are locked in place. I'm going to go ahead and make a will power, a will saving throw to see if you can uh, resist the effect of the hold person spell. Just a straight will save? Yep. Three. Three. How is that even human? Like <laughs> Una unable to shake the effect. You're still locked in place. Hand like on the bomb, and you're looking down at it. You're like you're about to light it, and the at, at least it wasn't lit. Ring there, and you're like, oh. yeah. <laughs> like cast method. Though. I don't even know. <laughs> All right, Piglet, you're up. <laughs> I'm going to uh, rage, so, and I'm going to Maintain. attack the paladin. Go for it. So you can both hammer and bite. I'm gonna do both. Go for it. <laughs> Uh, 18 plus 9. That hits. Go ahead and roll the hammer damage. Okay, so that's a. Roll that hammer damage. So that is 12. 12. Woo! As you bring up and slam the hammer down, she puts the shield up to block the blow, but the actual mallet catches over the top. The sheer weight of it pushes the shield away as it comes down and slams into the side of her chin. You can see the jaw kind of breaks from the impact. Ooh, yeah. yeah. A little bit of blood begins to trickle out of the corner of her mouth, and she's like. Ugh, ugh. And just spits a glob of blood across her otherwise pristine silvered armor. Seriously, she's all about cliches. Does she do this? <laughs> uh, well, for your bite attack. Okay. For my two deity, she worships his. Uh, 18 plus 4. Cliche. Those four that also. <laughs> yes! <laughs> right. Okay. So a d3 plus 3. So. Yeah, so roll a d6, have that, add 3. Uh, 4. 4 points of damage. As. <laughs> As she's reacting from that and spits the blood out, looks down, you actually run up the side of her shield and then bite into the chin you just broke and tear a chunk out of her face. She's like, oh, yeah. Who does that? <laughs> Piglet dies, bitches! All right, that ends Piglet's turn. Uh, the bard, whose spell has uh, been less than, less than active, and the wizard who spent his last turn just in absolute horror of his friend, regains his, his senses and is going to step up on this oh, one. Oh, I the wizard. <laughs> yeah, the wizard kind of hit off to the side and was like, watched his friend get beheaded and just kind of spent the turn looking in horror. Uh, the bard is going to attempt to cast sleep on you again. Uh, on you, go ahead and make another willpower save. Okay. Uh, and I'm raging, so it still applies, right? Yeah. Uh, so 18 plus three. 18 plus three, once God again. Damn! Struck the effect, he's like, why would 
she's saying down, stupid thing! He's pointing his finger, clutching his flute, angling in the other hand as nothing is affecting you. Red Bull, Red Bull! Go ahead and rush over to the side of, behind the, the, the cleric now and be like, can, can you heal me? Can you heal me? Please, please, please! And he's like running up to the side of the cleric asking for a heal. Uh, the paladin is going to, uh, as a reaction to you, furiously swing at you with the long sword. Uh, that is going to be a 22 to hit. It hits. That hits. Uh, you take four plus three. Seven points of slashing damage as the blade streaks down across you. Uh, you're still chewing the chunk of her face that's <laughs> running around in your jaw, but the blade goes across the front of your torso and kind of leaves this opening that begins to spill kind of dark, brackish goblin blood. But you don't even feel the pain. You're in such like a furious bloodlust right now. So uh, next round might be my last round, guys. When we get down to two, I'm, I'm gonna take off. <laughs> All right. We got 11 hit well, points left. The wizard's gonna step forward now, and is going to. Oh, this uh, round might be our last round. <laughs> go ahead and cast magic missile. Oh. One arcs off at you while you're held in place. Oh uh, shit! The other one's gonna streak off and hit you. Uh, so uh, Mezek, you take two points of force damage, and uh, uh, Snizzler, you take three points of force damage as two. Uh, missiles arc off and slam into the sides of you from the arcane nature of the spell. Um, that ends his turn. Uh, the cleric is now going to, uh, he can't do anything, he's stunned this round, and it's just like, oh! <clears throat> manages to shrug it off, but has absolutely no way of using any of her abilities because of the fist in the face that she got from Mezek. Finishing that, Grisnak. I found a nest of baby birds. <laughs> Finishing that, Mezek, it's your turn. Um, I'm going to use my flurry of blows, uh, flurry of blows with my quarter flurry. staff, and I'm also going to use uh, uh, um, uh, stunning first as well. Again. Okay, your last funny stuff. Yeah. Go for it. All right, so so you're doing two punches or two hits with this with a quarter staff. Well, stunning, stunning first. Is it fist or first? Yeah. Well, fist. stunning fist is, is as you do an attack. Uh, you can have it be a stunning fist attack. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit, I'm, I'm gonna hit or I'm gonna use the quarter staff for all Go three. Go for it. Attacks. So roll, roll for that and see if it hits. Uh, for the stunning fist first is 15, 20. 20 that hits. Uh, go to roll damage on that. Uh, that's. Who's holding this? Paladin the wizard. Because the cleric can keep everything. Rolls a seven. That's six oh, points of damage. Six points of damage, and she is stunned again. Yeah, you um, as the quarter staff clocks her upside of the head, now causing the armor to bend in on her temple, oh, and oh, one oh. eye's gone a little cross-eyed from the impact, and she's. So I'm gonna hit her again. Who'd you hit? The cleric. Uh, the cleric. I'm just gonna. So the cleric's unconscious. They can't do another round of, of, of anything. That's true. Yeah. Uh, hitting her again. Go for it. Um, that's twelve. Uh, twelve total bonus to hit. Uh, she is currently flat-footed with the armor. That's still fourteen. So yeah. Um. Is it time? It's time. It's time. I'm gonna reroll that. Mezik, Mezik, as strong as he is keen, support so pint to be a premier, I'll punch you in the spleen. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, this is our only chance. Yay! One when successful I, one. Wow. 19. 19 hits. Hey! 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 Uh, let's Hooray! use a different one. A flashy pink one. Uh, oh, that's better. Eight points of damage. Boom! Eight points of damage. How do you want to finish off the cleric? Hey! You did it! Quarter staff one, one, and then I just want to like the quarter staff to, like like find a chink in the armor and just watch the head cleave with like with just stick <laughs> just a big oh, melty awful <laughs> cleave like wood should not cleave. You should aim it at so, someone. After you slam her in the side of the head, the stunning the... her, she kind of leans forward from the from the impact. Ah! At this point, you use the, you spin the staff in one hand and then do a golf swing. Whack! Up the side of the head. You hit it such a rate that you cause the bent metal from the actual helmet to act as a guillotine like blade. <laughs> yeah. With that, boom, her head just boom, up in the air, boom, rolls on the ground. The bard who came up to ask her for heal goes, Heal me, heal me! And the body slumps <laughs> down on the ground in front of him and watches the head land a second later. He goes, <laughs> That's two Wait, and, wait, for you. And, and, and he rolls a one in his will save. He is currently like horribly shaken by this experience and is having penalties oh, no. from watching two of his friends lose their head in the same battle. And um, am I, am I, am I within quarterstaff contact of anybody else, or? Uh, currently, the bard, yeah. I'm gonna hit the bard. I'm gonna spend my key attack and hit the bard. Okay. So. About the time the re-adventuring yeah, party starts rethinking their career choice. Oh! What'd it's flashing, baby! Natural right. 20! Roll, roll to confirm crit. Come on, come on! Did you kill the... Uh, 11. 11? 
I'll say with the penalties that he's suffered from watching his friends die, I'll Thank say it's just barely hit. <laughs> so that's uh Talus in your life. That's uh MVPing this so 14 hard. points of damage. No. 14 points of damage. <laughs> Straight stab. Bro. I call the flute. How do you want to do this to the bar? I want to go straight through the mouth, all the way through the skull. And I want to hold it there. As he's screaming, <laughs> the stab just goes through, bursts out the back of the base of the spine where the, where the brain connects, and he goes, blood dribbling down the side of his mouth. You hold him aloft. Before. Music to my ears. <laughs> What do you do with this corpse in the end of the staff? Uh, I'm gonna hold it for my next attack on the next round. Okay. <laughs> yes. You're currently yes. now held limp against your staff, just oh, being pulled off by yeah. your fucking weapon. Oh my god. god. Absurd. All right, Fuck round you. two. You're it's up. Two. <laughs> so funny. How oh, many? Stop. How many are left? Uh, there is paladin the, and wizard. There is the wizard and the paladin. paladin. That's, That's it. it. The wizard and the paladin. And they're both like. Looking around themselves and, and wondering how these goblins steamroll <laughs> their the adventuring they party. <laughs> and, I, and I'm still stealth, right? Uh, as so far as you this know, would be yes. a sneak attack. As far as you know, yes. Uh, crossbow at the paladin. Crossbow at the paladin, go for it. 19. 19 nice. hits. Uh, what's the critical range on the crossbow? Does it just say times something? 19 to 20. So it, roll again to see if it crits. Please, please, please. 18. Go ahead and roll double damage on that. So roll, roll 2d6. Uh, plus sneak attack. So 4d6 damage total on this. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh. I'm just gonna uh, roll, go. Uh, this was bad. Brown two. Yeah, brown two. Uh, okay, this one. I felt like this deck was just the, just the goblin sacrifice to <laughs> Zarganel to make all you succeed. That's pretty good. Holy Six, shit. 12. Oh my gosh. 16. How do you want to finish the battle? <laughs> How do you want to do this spell? <laughs> so as the paladin wow. dives to you, bearing down on Piglet now, both bloodied, engaged in like gladiatorial combat, this tiny goblin, you know, meat shield and this shielded piece of human meat. How does, do you want to finish it? Does the paladin her? have a helmet? Uh, she does, yes. I mean, you could go for the hat trick of decapitation if you wanted. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do? What do you want to do? It's really up to you. Um, Bard's dead though now. It wouldn't be funny unless you had landed in the bar. Still bards. funny. Still funny. <laughs> can I get, can I get to her ear? Repetition's always funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, in we'll, one, in one ear, out the other. Okay. So as you aim carefully, you wait for her. As after the blows trade back and forth between her and Piglet, after uh, the hit, she pulls back and kind of spits off the side. You can now see the front of her face. As her head turns back, you use that moment to release and catch it right on the side of the helmet where the ear would be. The bolt shoot out one side and gets partially out the other, which kind of just. <laughs> she stands there for a second before to the knees, oh, face first in the ground in the mud. Man, left side Moving. of the table today. We're just <laughs> <laughs> the table right is just sucking it up. Right. We're, we don't need to be here, really. Stay on the waiting <laughs> side, man. Yeah. Go ahead and make still a, alive. A, a will table. Save well, yes, at least you're still. I still have, even though she's dead. I still have, it doesn't just break. You know what? The spell does break because the cleric's dead. So yeah, you, okay. you've regained control of yourself. Go! Thank you for the reminder. Uh, good work, team left. Good work. <laughs> yeah, good work, so, crazy. Now there's, you're still unconscious. there's one wizard that rushed out of the alleyway like, okay, I can do this. Runs out <laughs> and all of his friends are dead. And he goes, <laughs> his, like, his chin's quivering under his, his, so, is his it short my turn? gray beard. It is your turn. Where is he at? He's right there. Okay, I see the wizard. And I, I, um, I he take just a, came out. He just I take out. a step back onto the platform right behind me. Okay. Long hurl. And I take out my goblin bomb launcher. <laughs> <laughs> is that a thing? Uh, yeah. It is now. Yeah, it, is. it is. And I go. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And I kind of arc it upwards, and I go. Poof, we aim for the wizard. Okay, and thankfully he's far enough away that none of the rest of us <laughs> will catch fire. A cross between a bazooka and a large eggshell. And she's just gonna jam the bomb into it. As, she, as it detonates, poof, it sends out a wave of smoke and ash. It blows apart and sets you on your feet. Poof, just from the impact of the launcher. Go ahead and roll attack. It doubles the range. That's 20, uh, 30, 35. That's just enough. Oh my god. <laughs> See me about there, yeah. Uh, 18. 18 does hit his armor, his AC with mage armor of 16. Um, so go ahead and roll damage on that. That's 2d6 plus 3 plus 1d4 plus because of your explosive feat. Uh, not great. 
six plus three, so nine plus two, so eleven damage. Eleven points of damage. Andy is on fire <laughs> as he looks over and is like, "My friend, what?" <laughs> 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 He's screaming on fire Water now. Water from hell. <laughs> it's Nistler's it's, it's turn. Piglet, you're up. I'm a wizard, and I run. <laughs> wizard. Leaping on top, of, on top of the cart that is there before him. And just, as just expected, drop. I rage. Um, so I'm going to do a skull breaker on him. Go for it. Leaping in the air. Oh no, that was terrible. Eleven. Uh, Eleven. You go and, and swing with the hammer, and because of the flames kind of hot in your face, you swing wide and end up smashing part of the cart. Dang it! Instead, um, it kind of just looks at you through the fire, going, "No." <laughs> Can you take your bite? <laughs> no, because no. I, oh, I, I. You have to be right yeah. across to do that. All right, that finishes your turn, Piglet. Uh, everyone else is dead. Uh, <laughs> the wizard is just gonna in the flames, going, "No." No! And put out his hands like this, and a gout of fire, like a flamethrower, just bursts from the arcane in his face. Go ahead and roll a d6 fire damage, by the way. <laughs> burn, wizard, burn! Ah, another point of damage. Yeah, cute. All right, so. Um, this might, man, that's gonna be a bummer way to go uh, out after Go ahead and make a reflex side. save if you could. Okay. Nine. A plus your reflex save? Yeah. yeah. Nine. You fire. take six points of fire damage. You're still alive! I'm still alive! Oh, <laughs> I'm still alive! <laughs> Through the flames, Only more you're flames right. come. Yeah. You burn to cinders. You can see like what little bit of hair may have existed on you is now gone. <laughs> you are a charred black mass of cracked goblin flesh and anger. <laughs> you are enjoying being on the edge of death. Uh, that ends his turn. No one else is alive. Uh, you. Hi! <laughs> I uh, I found the bird's nest and then I'm <laughs> eating you're up. eggs. Um, I want to see if I can, I can egg, I kind just... of get enough of a pull to remove the head of the bard from the body and fling it as a as a as a uh, projectile. as a projectile <laughs> attack at the wizard. You're horrible. I am the worst person you know. This is like okay. this. so. You can use that. Uh, we're going to consider this an improvised ranged weapon. Sure. Um, so go ahead and roll an, at an attack with your dexterity bonus as opposed to your strength oh, bonus. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Uh, with a minus four because you're not proficient in ranged improvised weapons, just uh, melee ones. That'll, that'll work. So, what's your what's your dex modifier? Uh, four. So just roll a straight d20. D20 and then plus add, four. Add three to it. Add three. For just your attack bonus. It's just making shit up. <laughs> okay, no, that's that's okay. Um, uh, fourteen. Fourteen unfortunately misses. As he looks Worth it. through the flames, he goes <laughs> and looks over as the bard head leaps towards him and then just ricochets off of his arcane armor. Oh. And he goes, ah! I'm running, I'm running straight towards him. <laughs> you, you're mo oh, monk speed. You get right next. Yeah, to Yeah, no, I'm right there. He's just being surrounded now. <laughs> seeing the end. Uh, Brown tooth. Oh. Uh, oh, I can't reach him. Can I? I don't know. What's your range? Can on I your shoot him? Crossbow. You that's pretty well, everyone far. else is dead, so you get closer. Yeah, you can. Oh, that's true. So you can move yeah, off I'll, this way. Yeah, I'll move uh, up to the wizard. You can get there and see him off the side. Okay, but I. Yeah, He's not, flanked not... also, so. Why didn't you run, wizard? Hmm? He is, he is yeah, in flames. Is no, no, run, am I flanking him? Why didn't we run? No, you're not why didn't we run? Uh, but roll stealth to see if he sees you. Yeah, that you can just screw He does not. He is so distracted with all of his dead friends and being on fire. There's no way he can beat your stealth score with the six he rolled. Yeah, you're fine. Go ahead and roll an attack. You're practically so in the yeah. crossbow. Okay. Watches Phil like finishes off a final character for the oh, night. Damn it. Uh, sixteen. Sixteen just hits. Go ahead. Wow. Yeah. Oh, this is AC with major armor. Go ahead and roll uh, three d six. Wow. Thirteen. Thirteen. How do you want to do this? Wow. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> On fire, looking aghast at the heroes slain around him. Nose. Oh, uh, nose. Yeah, I think nose, through the nose. Nose right? is good. We haven't done nose, nose. or throat. Nose. 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 Right through his nose. <laughs> Up the nose into the brain. He's over there. And he's like. As he kind of looks over up to the sky for the first time in his entire existence, becoming a religious man <laughs> <laughs> at the cathedral that's now oh my God, down. the flames behind the cathedral from the mounting goblin hordes that are now currently 
descending upon this square, he just goes, why? <laughs> <laughs> as the bolt strikes him right to the center, his eyes go wide, and slow-mo just, <laughs> the flame just consuming the rest of his body <laughs> on the ground. Whoa. <laughs> that was rad. <laughs> You guys can now hear the more the screams in the distance still going louder, and the goblins. You can barely see the shadows of the rest of the the, the sharp toothed goblin horde coming down the mount, or coming through the the alleyway here. Back to the sewers! Now, now can we go? Yeah, we right, back hang, to on. The hang on, Snizzler walks over and uh, pours a cure light wounds down down. I had one this entire time. Yeah. Just one. Yeah. Power was with her all along. You gained five hit points. Uh, uh hey guys. Oh, hey, did, did we win? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dude. right. Thanks oh. for your help. Dude, you were unconscious. It was so cool. Oh, well, did anyone die in a really cool and very glorifying way? That's yeah, you way did, man. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. Oh, well, shit. Yeah. All right. All right, let's go. All I right. missed we it. We run. All right. We bail. Before we, we, we before, as a, you guys go. You guys go. Uh, also, before I leave, Goblin dick butt, goblin dick butt, goblin dick butt, <laughs> goblin dick butt, goblin Every corpse. Yeah, I, on every corpse. Every corpse is, is marked appropriately with your victory <laughs> token of the goblin dick butt. Yes. And uh, as they go down in, in into the sewer, I want to be the last one, and I want to take my last bomb launcher. <laughs> and I want to aim for the church. <laughs> <laughs> so proud of you. That's the best. <laughs> <laughs> So proud of you. <laughs> In the sushi again. Uh, ooh, um, twenty-one. <laughs> you see a lit explosion as flames begin to burn up on the <laughs> the long tapestries that hang at the front of the temple. <laughs> the other side, you see uh, two people that were hiding in the temple from the goblin oh, hordes come running out shit. on fire just as the oh, goblin yeah. hordes round the corner and go, ah, and rush in and just start striking them down, stabbing them repeatedly oh, with blades. God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. begins to catch flames as you see it looking out the sides of this now sh shattering stained glass. And you nod your head proud before you dart back into the sewer after yeah. your friends. Chris, Chris. What's this? <laughs> this <laughs> is my art. Amazing <laughs> grace. How sweet the stuff. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Thank you, man. You guys make your way it's beautiful. out of the town. What Let's remains go. of the town at the same point. Uh, heroes left scattered across the center <laughs> of the festival grounds. Uh, make your way all the way back uh, to your home. All right, now I'm glad I didn't run away. <laughs> <laughs> With that kind Aren't of party you? shot. That was pretty sick. You head past to the west side of the Devil's Platter Mountains, to the home of where your uh, your old Guffy. Yep, where old where, Guffy. where, where uh, old old Guffy is. Guffy. You head back into her cavernous abode, and she sits there waiting. There's a smell of what sounds smells like some sort of of uh, extremely nasty, boiling liquid, and she spins around. You, you return. Uh, did you bring me the promised stone? Stone, who said it? Stone. Oh, stone. right, oh, okay. oh, oh, stone. Well, I helped a lot, but... Um, I brought the stone. I hand it to her. She takes the stone. Yes. It's a burn burn stone. And may this blessing upon you all. She spins around and drops the stone in the pot. Begins good? stirring it and goes, Stone soup for me tonight. Oh, yeah, I love stone well soup. Even with victory, you've earned a fine meal, my goblins. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! As she pours you all your evening's meal of boom boom stone boom, soup, boom, stone stir. tales of the horrible slaughter that <laughs> befell those who walked in your path, uh, and you realize you managed to bring back a trench coat as part of your victory prize. Yeah! Yeah! We yeah! share a little bit of a dried meat with them. We throw oh, it. We throw oh. it on. We throw it on top of an uh, eight our, our and an trophy and an pile. empty uh, snuff box tin. Uh, <laughs> as well as some, some poo and some bottles for Molotov cocktails. A, a masterful bounty you've collected this yeah. evening. And then I cast Grease on all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Slip and slide! Slip and slide! Ah. Freeze frame credit roll. Any way you want. <laughs> That's the 
way you need it. Any way you want it. And that is your game tonight. A one shot Pathfinder game. Yay. Big thank you once again to Paizo and to Sirenscape for uh, helping us put this together, yeah. for bringing the prizes for our fantastic audience. Thank you all for watching this wondrously chaotic <laughs> goblin spree that transpired. And a big round of applause for our players this evening. You guys did amazing. Yay. You're unadulterated in. <laughs> Seriously, hashtag team left side <laughs> for all of the deaths. Seriously, dished out. Oh, we're rolling for the grand prize winner right now. While they're doing that, while they're doing that, guys, I don't know if you're aware, but you systematically slaughtered the iconic heroes of the Pathfinder universe. Yes. That's their actual stats like, and everything. What? Yeah. Oh my god. Like the Water. ones that are always the ones that are in the book. In the book? In the books, yeah. Oh, so, that's well, amazing. By the book. The character. The actual Pathfinder. He I killed Pathfinder. Yay, <laughs> we murdered it. Like we in, in the stat. We were going people. down. Yeah. I was, I was prepared to go down in a blaze and, of blood. And, and, yeah, me too. I, I was really ready. Die. And for those who aren't aware, the, the attack on Sandpoint is actually the very, very first encounter adventure that happens in the Rise of the Rune Lords uh, right. campaign setting. Uh, and and an adventure guide for Pathfinder. You guys played the other half of that battle. That's so <laughs> it was normally the first fight for the heroes. They got <laughs> slaughtered by. So the this merry band of people came guys. together. We're like, we're gonna go adventuring. Yeah. Their first adventure day out. <laughs> yep. And, and a, a group of goblins you beheaded, that beheaded all of them. In, a, in an alternate dimension, we, we TPK another party. Pathfinder game. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> hey guys, congr congratulations. Dimension. We are the darkest timeline. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> Somewhere there's like a whole new set of gamers being like, this RPG shit's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I died at level two. I don't, it was stupid. I'm That's over amazing. it. I'm over this, man. So yeah. Well done, guys. Yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah. Amazing. 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 Guys, you feel like I was in another world. <laughs> Great. So they get these cool little, little Steel, goblin dice. things. So in these cool good, where did it come from? There's so many. Stuffies? There's there's a lot that's in the big package. It's it's all books yeah. and it's all stuff. <laughs> yeah, and all, all these little goblin things are available on the Paizo store, guys. Yep. If, if the, the the banks look awesome. Yeah, banks are cool. Piggy bank. Yeah. They're nice. They're uh, like it's a good. It's a good desk. You know, just like, accessories. Ah, as a as a Heavy. as a sidebar uh, statement, I would like to say that even though 17k and Ivan breathes fire, I don't know if we hit 17k <laughs> or not. Oh, we did. We did. This is not fortuitous. This is not. <laughs> Coming yes. of yeah. what is. Fire. I will not actually light myself on fire. Have you, have you actually, actually ever breathed fire before? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. I do it, do it a lot. All right. But not. I'm not going to sneeze fire yeah. and then light yeah, myself on fire. Yeah, let's Sneezing fire is different. Sneezing from fire would kind of blow my mind. I've never, I've, I've never seen that different before. Different orifices. <laughs> this, is, this is Ivan breathing it, not Grisnak. Yeah. Not Grisnak the goblin. Grisnak really is lucky fire. to be alive. <laughs> <laughs> he literally died three times. I actually kind of was hoping that you guys would leave me there. <laughs> <laughs> I debated, no. I was like, I'm chaotic evil. Technically I wouldn't. Well, you're my homie, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, if we had had to carry you? If oh yeah, no. Know, well, no. If, you, if you had carried me, I would have expected you to throw me in the stew uh, for the rest of the evening <laughs> true. with the boom boom stone. Oh my god, so. that was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, that was that was delightfully ridiculous. Well done, guys. Yeah. Whose dice are these? These are. We got winners. Pac-Man Waka Waka. Pac-Man Waka Waka. Waka Waka. Waka Waka. Waka Waka. Waka Waka. Waka Waka. You're gonna get a fantastic care package courtesy of Paizo that involves. Uh, Pathfinder Core Rule Book, Monster Boom. Codex, Inner Sea Races Book, Burn Offerings Book, Weedy so, Goblins, the Goblin Promo Figure, Town Square Flip ones. Map, which you got to see oh, awesome. right here. Flip Map. Uh, Goblin it's Bank Plush and a one year subscription to Sirenscape. That is fantastic. Congratulations. And a one year subscription to Sirenscape. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was some good music. I really like the gist of. I really like the, 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 the drum one. The yeah. do 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 the yeah. great, one. Great that music tracks. One. You can customize your own tracks too. Our sewers were great. Cool. The sewers were great. The sewers great. were yeah. great. Yeah, the screaming people. And there's a lot of cool. Uh, there was a bar brawl in case you guys decided to actually what are, use, what are some use the, the bar brawl as a way to get you through. Kill. Nice. Um, like here's the tavern brawl. If you just go ahead and hit that there. Awesome. <laughs> Dudes nice. beating the crap out of each other. The bar music. <laughs> and you can put in like. And they have a flash ah, there punches. You go. And Sirenscape also has not just a fantasy division, but they also have an entire sci-fi sci catalog yep. as well yeah. too. I know we used it a bunch. Um, 
on uh, on the TMNT. Oh, for the record. Yeah. Ah, oh my God! They have a Wilhelm. Wilhelm is on on the sound list. There, you have a dragon if you want to use it. <laughs> so dragon cool. arrival. <laughs> this is the best bar brawl ever. Uh, sad trombone, which I got to use earlier. <laughs> All the things notes. that you want while your players are doing stupid things. Yeah. It's, it's really, really, really cool stuff. And you got spells like fire spell, which. <laughs> you didn't get to hear of the music when I did it when you uh, burst into flame last time. <laughs> oh, did you do it though? It's all right. Yeah. yeah. This, is, this, by the way, is what an evening at Matt Mercer's house is like. <laughs> She's just sitting going, look at it. <laughs> <laughs> I make the sound I'm true. It's, it's, it's this is true. This was Sunday evening, like it's pretty much. Yeah. Sunday evening, yeah. yeah. Look at yeah. all this cool Add stuff. YouTube in there. Yeah. That's pretty much it. That's yeah, hilarious. we don't do a lot. Yeah. Oh, you guys, yeah. it's chill. When we have the opportunity. There we go. It was chill. Well, well, it was, it was, <laughs> it was, a, it was a pleasure being unconscious for most of the battle. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But you did so and, much early And trying on. to talk us out of our mission. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I did so enjoy all of the wayward things. <laughs> That's not it! And, and just think, you might have lived if you hadn't taken that bramble damage. I just want you to live with that. That is... That is sleep like a baby tonight. I want you to sleep like a baby. <laughs> That's gonna keep me awake, you asshole. You're welcome. You're welcome. Oh you know what? God. Suck it. Live with it. There you go. How, how much ass would we have kicked if any of the songs had worked? Oh, thank <laughs> God. Oh, no, I, got, I, got, I, got, I got one. I got the one. I got one. Thank God. That would have been really depressing if none of them. I know. I know. Would not sing I roll really well. No, I we, all have a, we all sang. We all sang our song. Yeah, everyone got to sing a song once, which is cool. Yeah, that's good. I wrote mine on my lunch break today. It was really. No, you guys were awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for playing. And. You guys should come Thursday yep. at 7 p.m. to see the 50th episode of Critical 50th Role. Episode. It's gonna be crazy. And uh, don't fun. don't feel free to stick around Ooh, next Monday. Every Monday. Every Monday. Every, every Monday. Monday. Every Monday. Every Monday in the week. In the Monday. Every Monday we and it's it sucks because I won't be there next week because of tabletop. But uh, for the and for the next three weeks, but you'll be seeing we're playing Kick Ass and Chew Bubblegum next week, which is a fun little one-off. It's a mini, it's basically, you have two actions. You can either chew bubblegum or you can kick ass. <laughs> That's fantastic. And if you ever run out of bubblegum, you can only kick ass. <laughs> uh, what happens if you run out of ass? kicking ass? You can't yeah. ever run out of kicking yeah. ass. Okay. There's always ass to kick. There's, There's always, always ass asses to kick. To kick. Yeah. But bubblegum is fine. There's only so, so much bubblegum you, you can If you ever want to explore the weird and wacky RPGs and, you know, explore, like, small little mini campaigns, not unlike this scenario, in little chunks, you feel free to tune in Monday. You want a whole game sometime. What's that? A hole? Hole's on my list. Yeah. I love yeah. Hole's I love good. Hole. He got me the, the, the whole books for uh, my buttery, birthday. Buttery wholesomeness. Oh, yeah, nice. I'll <laughs> We also want to play Toon. You know Tune? I don't know Tune. You know Tune? Oh, Tune! Oh, yes! Mm -hmm. sure. Tune, Tune's basically like Who Saturday morning Robert cartoon Robert. show, the role-playing game. What? I've been, I've been trying to dig that up Tofos amazing. for you, too. So it's like fun. Who Framed Roger one. Rabbit, the RPG? Basically. Yeah. Yep. That yeah. sounds really cool. Ooh. There's a lot of really fun what? systems out there. A lot of them don't get a lot of attention because, you know, they're either independently published or mm -hmm. whatever, and we 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 find them, we have a good time with them. That's what No Survivors is about. I think No Survivors. Because because characters can die, and it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it's okay. So, anyway. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, guys. So, No Survivors every Monday here, 7 p.m. Critical Role every Thursday, 7 p.m. Thank you guys so much for coming. Have a wonderful night, and uh, we'll see you Thursday. Bye. Bye.